Cats fam, hopefully the Cats can break their losing streak. This would be a wonderful way for them to do it. They're taking on the New York Rangers in what could be a conference final preview. So I'm stepping in tonight in relief of our buddy Jaws, of course, who recently uh, lost one of his best friends, his 13-year-old dog, Ellie. So, you know, my man, uh, our best thoughts are with you and your family and Fluffy, of course, as well. But yeah, I'll be hanging out with you guys through the course of this evening, watching the Panthers game, and hopefully they can uh, get the two points and break out of this losing streak. Welcome, everybody. It's awesome to have you here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Nick, and this is my doggo, Cortana, here. And speaking of doggos, for every super chat that we receive, I will donate 50% of all super chat proceeds to the Maryland SPCA, where our buddy Jaws is based there, so we can help doggos in need. So that's a great way to um, support our efforts here and uh, give back to, to you know dogs that uh, need, need some love out there. So anyway, uh, it's awesome to have you guys here. I'm, I don't know everybody. I do know a lot of you from just our, our interactions in the chat over the course of the last couple seasons. But yeah, it's great to have you here, no matter who you're cheering for, Panthers fan or otherwise. And I certainly uh, do hope that, again, Florida can get the dub tonight here. Uh, was the Nashville game bad? That's a good question. I heard that that it was closer than the, than the score indicated. That's all I know, though. Uh, but the Preds right now are just absolutely blowing through teams, no matter what their record is going into it. But yeah, of course, of course, Derek, happy to um, to step in here and uh, hang out with you guys here. And uh, yeah, man, uh, of course, something like this is it's it's a diff it's difficult for somebody to have to go through you know pets uh, pets mean a lot to us right for a lot of us they're members of our family and uh, to me here Cortana is my little kiddo I love her to to death and uh, so I mean I know that uh, somebody like Jaws would do the same you know uh, John hey how's Cortana uh, Cortana is killing it man she's uh, she's ten years old for anybody who doesn't know but uh, she's a very sprightly individual just like. Uh, just like we see with Fluffy, and uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, you know I'm I'm excited for the playoffs. Uh, I have a trip to uh, to attend to before the playoffs start, so my mind's been on that a little bit recently. But yeah, we've got um, sports shorts. We got Jameson. We got Dustin. Um, I, I think uh, if if I recall from Jaws's post, you had um, you had sent Jaws some flowers. That's awfully sweet of you. Um, so so yeah. I know that he appreciates the hell out of that. Spaceman Sports. That's a fun one. Bob's washed up. Uh, Bob's in net tonight. That's all I know. Uh, how worried are we about the Panthers? Now, I myself, Panthers are a team that I do follow. Uh, I, I myself am a Sharks fan, though, being from California. Um, but, you know, it's it's all right. Like, you got enough time in the rest of the season to correct things. So if you're going to struggle... Now is not the worst time to do it, but they got to start figuring things out fast, I think. Let's go, Cats, says Jason. We are a flying, fluffy family. Damn right. Damn right. All right, let me put up the banner here. <clears throat> yeah, anybody got a, a final score prediction? I think it's going to be a bit of a nail biter. 2 1 in overtime. How about that? 2 1 Gatos. Hey, what's up, Dana? Thanks for uh, jumping in here. Oh, there, there he is. Oh, wait. That, oh, that's me. That's me posting it. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing Fluffy as my, as my own avatar. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan, unfortunately, you know, it was her time to go, but, um, you know, she went peacefully. Jaws was, was there, um, and, her, and, you know, her final, final hours really. So, yeah. Ocposo's in. Yeah, I did hear that. I think Barkov's still out, right? And so is, uh, Steven Lorenz is still in as well. As I would imagine, uh, centering the fourth line there. Let me just pull up the uh, the channel here. Yeah, of course, Dana. My pleasure. Three nothing, five two Rangers. I know Rangers have come in uh, winning three of four. 
their biggest absence in the lineup right now is uh, Ryan Lind- Lindgren on defense. Steven Lorenz hat trick incoming. If if we get two goals, James, if we get two goals from Steven Lorenz, then I will personally gift you a twisted wrister hockey t-shirt. You come back to me and let me know if <laughs> if you're right. Hold me, hold me to it. Uh, getting too tired or don't want to win the presence trophy. That's so funny that you mentioned that because I actually said the same thing to I, I talked to Jaws today. He was sounding he was sounding better for sure. Um but he was like, yeah, he, he had kind of one theory. And I'm like, well, yeah, maybe they maybe they don't want to win the President's Trophy. But they still have an opportunity to win the division. The, the Bruins, despite being three points up on Florida, have played three more games going into today. And they lost uh, to the Flyers most recently uh, in, a, in a pretty tight game. At least I think it was 3-2 uh, Philly. As the Flyers just will not go away. You know, any night, right? Any given, any given game. <sighs> Expecting another loss, TK. <sighs> gotta, get, gotta get a couple goals on the board, though. The, the team's uh, only scored those three goals in the last three games uh, coming against the uh, Lightning. Of Igor this year, Annette, hearing from Rags fans, he's a roller coaster this year. I mean, they've been riding him pretty high recently, though, right? He's He's been killing it, from what I recall. Let me take a look at uh, what he's done, because I know that, obviously, he didn't get off to the best start this year. But uh, if you want to get the numbers on Igor, let's take a look here. Igor Shesterkin. His last couple of games have not been the sharpest, but let's see here. Oh, boy, he did have kind of a bad stretch back in January. But beginning February 9th, he has a 938 save percentage. So that's his last 14 games. His last 14 games, he's only given up two goals per game. It has a 938 save percentage and three shutouts. So he's doing better. But yeah, is he prime Igor right now? I don't know if that makes him, you know, the best in the uh, in the NHL at this moment. Uh, Quick, still a very strong season. Two point four four goals against average and a nine sixteen. Yeah, I I, I got to see this though, man. I got I got we got to get we got to get a win for Jaws for sure, for sure. Um, last time the Panthers suffered a lopsided loss was January thirteenth. Oh wow, really? Oh my god, I can't even remember. Just because it's been so long. Dang it. The Oilers defeat the Leafs. Oilers and Leafs in the battle of two teams that are uh, not exactly uh, built for the playoffs. Droid Go- uh, Ghost, how are you doing? Hey, good to have you here, man. All right, awesome. And I welcome, uh, at least across our platforms, we've got 58 people joining us for the start of this game. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to say, man, I'm going to say it's going to go to OT. It's going to be a, a very close game. It's going to be a defensive game. Florida's going to, you know, they're going to uh, bear down and get get a 2-1 dub. And um, wait, is Rempy going to play? I think he played last game, didn't he? Well, I know he had the suspension too, uh, deservedly so. But yeah, what's St- uh, Stoller's being out? Uh, I didn't see him in the injury report, but that Oops. thirty-two in here right now. That sounds pretty chilly. A lot chillier than even where I live. Uh, I ain't in Florida. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, still large was st- was sick. Okay, okay. Uh, know anything on uh, was that uh, Tobias Bjornfoot? No, really, I, I don't. the The one guy who I hadn't even heard of who played in your last game is Uvi Uvis Balinskis. I know, I never heard of that guy. I, I, what? These are like his first NHL games, right? 
and a handful of games since uh, Stolar started. Yeah, and you don't want to, of course, you don't want to drive Bobrovsky into the ground as you're getting close to the playoffs for sure. Bolinski's is a dog, a D A double G. Okay. Oh, Nick, how you doing, man? Uh, good, good luck tonight <laughs> with the Blackhawks. Okay, so he's uh, out there num number two. Okay. Thank you, Dustin. How were Mahara and Bolinski ranked as a top defensive pair earlier this year? Oh, I, w I wouldn't be the one to know because again, Bolinski's is—I—I uh, I don't think I've ever like heard of him. Honestly, remember Sh Sharks fan here, so I watch a lot of hockey on the other coast. Ovis Bolinski's. Oh, he's played 19 games total. I didn't know. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I know that uh, Mahura has not been the sharpest versus like where he was last year. Hey, Ricky, what's going on? Uh, let's see. How does our game? Ha Why does our game have to start so late? Because West Coast, best coast, baby. Bob had what four days to rest before the last game. Yeah, that that was the thing. I thought that the Panthers would have come out with some purpose against the Predators, right? But yeah, Nashville has been uh has been uh clowning on fools recently. For Montour and Ekblad. Oh, okay, okay, got it. That makes sense. Yeah, your your defense has been a little bit uh, banged up recently, huh? And of course to start the year, but um you guys did just fine with uh with those two top defenders out. There you go, girl. Starting to doubt the trades. Yeah, what uh, what's Tarasenko looked like? Uh, I know his first like th four games or so were pretty productive for him. So far with Florida, Tarasenko in six games has two goals and an assist. Uh, what was that? Third line minutes that he's playing mostly and some power play. Okay, that's a. I mean, that's a pretty small sample size. That's that's the thing though. I wish that the trade deadline was earlier in the year, right? <laughs> Dana, thank you. I appreciate that. Bravo. Um, here, let's give Cortana a treat. And again, uh, I'll be donating 50% of our Super Chat revenue to the Maryland SPCA so we can help some dogs in need in Jaws' state of Maryland. Thank you. That's very kind. Uh, Tarasenko's best game was against the Flyers after the deadline. Yeah, I remember it. Like, yeah, he looked again pretty engaged as soon as he um, stepped in. All right. So puck drop is in about seven and a half minutes. Just FYI. Oh, I don't know why I highlighted that comment, but there you go for anybody who fought, who follows. Boxing wasn't Mike Tyson going to fight what Jake Paul? I haven't, I do not keep up with that world very much. One thing I have been somewhat keeping up with is uh, a, a little, just a little bit, is March Madness. Uh, although I was hoping that Washington, Washington State would win against uh, Iowa State. I'm, I live about like two hours away from, from Wazoo here. Any, any big upsets today? I, I think so far, not really, at least not in the men's tournament. Uh, I mean, Gonzaga had their way against Kansas, but that was a five over a four. Oakland's playing right now a 14 seed against uh, NC State. And uh, I'll be in Raleigh in just a few days. But uh, I've always liked North Carolina, who uh, defeated Michigan State. Yeah, but Gonzaga, 89-68. Now, I went to a rival school of Gonzaga's, so I do not like them, but I don't like Kansas at all. So. I'm happy to see Gonzaga actually win a game. But anyway, 
Uh, True World Nick, what's going on, dude? Thanks for jumping in, man. Uh, oh, that was UFC. Okay, yeah. I have no idea what's going on in that world. Uh, yeah, Spaceman. Where's Jaws? Yeah, Jaws, you know, it's a hard time for him right now because he lost his 13-year-old dog um, just a few days ago. So, you know, he and, and Fluffy and and Karen and, and Kyle, you know, Kyle, poor, poor guy, he had, he had a kind of a tough uh, trip to Florida because he got sick and his flight got delayed by several hours coming back. So, like, Jaws just wants his time with his family right now. So um, I offered to uh, to come in and, and help, help him out with this. So there you go. John, what's going on? Thanks, man. Uh, only prediction I have is, please, Panthers, don't be down 3 nothing like you've been the last three games. Oh, wow, it's been all three? Yeah, and score score a couple goals. That'd be nice. Thanks for the five, man. I appreciate it. Here, let's give Cortana a treat for you. We got some uh, carrots and apples here for her. Whoop. There you go, good girl. That's the last four games they've been down three nothing. Oh wait, wait, who was the um who was the last victory against then? I mean, everybody probably knows except for myself, but their last win was on the twelfth against Dallas. Oh, that's right. Were they down like three nothing heading into the third period, and then all of a sudden they remembered they were the Panthers. Oh, oh, they scored late, later in the second period. That's right. But they had Barkov score two goals in that game. So definitely feeling his loss in the lineup recently. Jameson, how you doing? Yeah, of course. Uh, why didn't we do a recap last game? Uh, so uh, this is coming from somebody on Facebook. So filling in for Jaws as, as a substitute. Um, and Jaws has been going through a tough time because he recently lost his 13-year-old dog. So he's just spending some time with his family. But he loves you guys so much that he wants to keep things rolling. So he said, you know what, Nick, I'll, I'll take you up on that. Why don't you come in and uh, chat with the audience here? Well, yeah, one thing is that, you you know, it's, it's good to experiment to see what kind of chemistry can develop from your lines. But, yeah, you don't want, as you're getting closer to the playoff starting, you don't want to be panicking, you know. If you're shuffling things a, a little bit in the bottom six, that's one thing. But you don't want to be doing too much more beyond that. At least I don't think. So, yeah. Oh, and um, if you see the, the message scrolling along the bottom here. So, Jaws, because uh, I know that the Panthers are playing the Flyers tomorrow. So, Jaws will post a, a recap video of that game on Sunday, just like normal. And then he'll also... Well, shoot. I wonder if he wants me to do a stream tomorrow, too. Um... And then he'll also run a live stream at noon on Monday as a review of the Panthers Flyers game. So he's going to do his best to get back into the swing of things here for sure. Um, they should be winning. Yeah, Jam uh, Jameson, other Jameson, got a couple Jamesons. Uh, yeah, I look, I. It's okay. I wouldn't panic that that they're in this funk right now. It's it's okay, but but yeah, they got to start over the next like three games. They should be able to kind of get back into the gear that they were you know operating in before this this losing streak started. Forsling's out as well. Really, I did not know that. Damn, they're uh, a little depleted. Then just say twisted wrister on TV. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that Bouchergrass or or? I don't know. That's Bouchergrass's thing, yeah. Who's out? Yeah, so uh, I believe Barkov is still out. It's sounding like Forsling's out. Um, other guys, there have been some other guys who've been on IR recently. I don't know if Lomberg's checking back in, guys. Yeah. 
dang, am I going through like a head cold right now? I might, I might need to turn on my AC or something. Uh, looks like we're going to get underway from, of course, Madison Square Garden. Never been there before. Oh, yeah, Lorenz is in, in, in place of Lomberg. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll just uh, update this right now. So yeah, it hasn't dropped just yet, but uh, it will very shortly. Barkov, Ekblad, Lomberg, and Gadjevich. Got it. Yeah, Asher, I'll keep I'll keep an eye just to uh, confirm whether or not um, Forsling's leaking's out. Bob's still rocking a 916 and a 2.37 goals against average. So, I mean, still, it's been an awesome season for him. But, yeah, you, you definitely want still large to um, be able to fill in a decent amount here as you get into the playoffs so that Bob's as healthy as he can be. Shesterkin rocking a 912 and a 2.6 goals against average. Louis Renan on that top line with Lundell and Reinhardt. And we've got a puck drop here at Madison Square Garden. And, uh, yeah, Belinsky's is out there on the top to start out. And the Rangers rocking their uh, State Series jersey as, as Mikola slaps it along to a teammate, and the Panthers will come through the neutral zone. A2, a shot, a little bit wide of the net, and it rims around for Reinhardt. He does the same, looking for somebody at the point, but this one's going to trickle all the way down for the defense to uh, gather from behind the net. Uh, Senators over Devils. I like the sound of that because as a Sharks fan, we have their second round pick. So the earlier, the better there. All right. Roslovic now out there for the Rangers. Uh, trade deadline acquisition from the Blue Jackets. And now Swaggy trying to chip it out of the zone, but it stays in. Added behind Bobrovsky by Keandre Miller. Yeah, I, I so Mikola is out there, or he has been out there, I guess with Montour. So yeah, I, I got to see who the other what the other defensive pairing looks like. But yeah, we got Montour. Yeah, yeah, Mont, Montour and Mikola. So I don't know. Who, got to see the uh, third defensive pairing, but Stenland and his lines out there right now. And here he is behind the net, looking out in front, trying to oh, good tie up there. By Wenberg. Almost had a chance there in, in the uh, lower slot, I should say. Sports shorts, Mrs. Mrs. Doc Emmerich. So do I. If you really like it, I can call this as Doc Emmerich. Cycled along, and now Kako pulling up at the corner. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't do it. Uh, Tarasenko goal tonight. Yeah, guys, let me know who you think is going to strike first. Let's go with, uh, let's say... Uh, I'm going to go Monty. Trocek. Trocek is centering their top line. That kind of surprised me. I have watched very little Rangers this year, if, if you even want to call it that. And now chipped all the way down by Akpozu. Looking like the uh, Rangers will change up here. So we've got Ekman Larson, and yeah, we've got uh, uh, number two. Somebody called out number two earlier. So yeah, yeah, Forsling is out. Yeah. All right, shot from the point and glove by Bobrovsky. As we get a whistle here with it just about three minutes gone by. Called the Kairu goal. Yeah, that's right. Kairu had a hat trick today, man. That guy's got own age over the wild, doesn't he? Bjornfoot. Okay. I'm going to write that down. I, I remember things when I write them down. Tobias Bjornfoot. With OEL. Okay. Let's say uh, an all Swedish pairing. Looks like Fluffy lost a lot of weight. <laughs> I'm going to give Cortana a carrot just for that. Nice. Six regulars out. Yeah, that is a lot. There you go. There you go. All right. Here's Montour. 
Banks it off the boards, trickling down into the Rangers zone. Play by Schneider. Nice check there from, from Verhage. And now Panarin off the skate of Schneider. Panthers trying to gain the zone. They'll be uh, offside here. Uh, Bobrovsky's in, yeah. Carter Verhege will score the first goal. All right. Well, if you're in a tight defensive battle and you've been struggling for goals, I know Rhino's got you know the most on the team, but but Verhege's, you know he's uh, he's the clutch, the clutch scorer. The, the most clutch, let's just say, because they got some clutch scorers. All right, Zabanajad. Oh, he takes a hit there from Lundell at the top of the zone. Panthers getting the clear. Lundell just going to bat this down the ice into the corner as he finishes his check against Adam Fox. Nice job again. Good shift from Lundell. Oh, off the rebound. Almost tried to put that in with the backhand. And we're actually going to get a early whistle. A slashing will be assessed, and I believe the Florida Panthers are going on the power play. Yep, and that's going to be on New York's Eric Eric uh, Gustafson. Excuse me. And we're near a sixty-minute game. Most of us would kill for a forty-minute game. Uh, we have fourteen players with over seventy hits. That's that's a fair amount. To quote Derek Zoolander, that is a bit above average. Is Cortana the mascot of my channel? Yeah, absolutely. I even just made my logo uh, with a uh, vector illustration of Cortana. So here we go. Cats on the power play. I don't know what the arena does when that happens, but being a Sharks fan. Dun, dun. And the Rangers getting a clear here. Montour, the quarterback, and he does a back pass that goes all the way back to Bob. Is Cortana watching the game? Looks like it, but no, she's just watching me because she knows I have all the snacks. All right, good job by Reinhardt getting that deep. Cycled along for Teresico. Reinhardt trying to funnel it behind the net. And now we're going to get a puck out of play. But uh, that was a deflection. So we'll get a face-off in the Rangers zone with 129 left in the power play. Holy crap, how many power play goals does Reinhardt have this year? Oh my god. Reinhardt has so he has 48 goals on the year and uh 27 are on the power play. My god. When did you guys get uh David Posternock anyway? All right, Montour slings it back for Reinhardt onto the wing, nicely intercepted by Zabanajad and deflected back into the bench. That's a lot of PPGs, man. It's so weird seeing uh, Tarasenko as number 10. I mean, I, I see 10... In a Panthers jersey, and I think of, what, Duclair? And now he's on Tampa. My Sharks not doing you guys any favors, uh, trading him away. All right, now Kachuk on the wing. Backhands it down for Reinhardt in the corner. Takes a hard hit from Fox. And now Miller and the Rangers able to clear 45 left on the power play. Where's Forsling? Forsling is out. I don't know specifically with what, but he is out. At Pavel Bure, yeah, sure. That was pretty much before uh, I started really watching hockey. Verhage working against Sabanjad and Miller. And Mika able to bat this down the ice. So 20 seconds left on the man advantage. Yeah, I really, uh, Tempest, it, it uh, has been kind of a rough one so far. Now Lundell looking for the seam pass that's to nobody. Oh, gee, that didn't look good. Ekman Larson, they'll slap it in. And now Chad Ruedel, longtime Pittsburgh Penguin, trying to get the clear here. 
That's right. You guys have Erod too. Now Gustafson onto the wing. He's got new Ranger Alexander Wenberg coming over at the trade deadline from the Kraken. Zero shots on goal. Yeah, yeah. Zach Jones. Can get around. Wow, what a great skater. He's a real good skater. And uh, Panthers able to... I don't know if they were able to change up personnel here, but they were able to halt the Rangers up in the blue line there. The Rangers a little bit out of sync here trying to advance the puck. And an interception there from Ekman Larson. It'll send it up, send it up ice for oh Montour and a shot and a save from Shusterkin. And now here comes Lafreniere. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll negate the power play, by the way. Ooh, nice little hit at the top of the zone. And are we gonna get a penalty? Might be getting a penalty here. To whom? I don't know. Hello from Wallace, Nova Scotia. Hmm. Right on. I don't know exactly where that is, or I don't know. Yeah, but uh I live near a Wallace myself. Wallace, Idaho, of all places. Anyway, we, we go to a uh, commercial break here with about the first seven minutes gone by. Panthers, uh, yeah, was that just their first shot on goal? It might have been. It might have been. You grew up in Boise, right on. I've only lived uh, in Idaho for about three and a half years, though, so I haven't been to Boise or, like, the southern part of the state. But uh, I'd like to go see it at some point. I'd really like to go to, like, catch them, you know, go to um, Sun Valley, right? Penalty or offside? Yeah. I, I the, the broadcast didn't mention anything, so maybe it's not going to be a penalty. Three shots overall. Hey! Uh, you saw the new Ghostbusters? You know, it's really funny, dude. Um, I actually watched the original Ghostbusters all the way through for the first time last night. And that's good, though, that it didn't disappoint. I mean, you can't just waste Paul Rudd, right? Uh, is Jaws Kyle not streaming tonight? Yeah, they're, they're you know, of course, uh, Kyle just got back from Florida. And, um, you know, with uh, Ellie, unfortunately, passing just a couple days ago, um, you know, they're just spending some time together with their, with their family and with uh, Fluffy. So uh, I, I said, hey, I'll, I'll step in, man. Like, don't don't feel like you got to, you know, get on here unless you've got the, you know, got your mojo back for that. So that's what's up. Uh, a national manhunt in Idaho. Oh, really? Twin Falls? Yeah, that's somewhere in southern Idaho from all I know. Uh, do I have every jersey? No, not quite. Not quite. I I used to have like multiple jerseys for every, just, a, just about every team. Uh, but I've sold some uh, recently. I have a bunch of Panthers ones, though. <laughs> Is that right, James? All right. Cool, man. Thank you. All right. So anyway, yeah, that was just an offside. There was no penalty there. You like the, uh, the new Ghostbusters? Right on. I'm going to have a theme song in my head all night. All right. Maybe I'll watch the second the the second one from the 80s tonight. Oh yeah, Akposo and Rempe were, were joined together. I actually saw Rempe in the WHL when he played for Seattle. And what's crazy is because he's playing against a bunch of, you know, 17 and 18 year olds, and he's like a foot taller than most players and like 60 pounds heavier. It was very bizarre. Because you know, players would would just touch him and all of a sudden they would just go down instantly. Hamburger Hut? What? <laughs> Thank you, John. I don't know what that means, but you have the last name of a Panthers defenseman, so Cortana gets a treat. And again, 50% will go to the Maryland SPCA for our friend Jaws. Oh, oh, oh. And... Oh. <laughs> Sean McDonough sounded really excited there, but then again, Sean McDonough isn't necessarily the sharpest of commentators. Who's Rempe fighting? Yeah, wouldn't you think Cousins? I am a Sharks fan. Yes, indeed. Uh, oh, R Ryan asked. Yeah, I do like the Panthers, but yeah, uh, I'm from Cali, so I'm a Sharks fan. Uh, how did I meet Jaws? Um, just through creating YouTube stuff. I would just, you know, jump into a, a chat like this with like you guys do or 
I'd comment on a video. And um, more recently, a lot of my uh, work on YouTube has been on like historical content. So I produce like longer features. Sometimes people call them video essays in a sense. But yeah, I've been covering like, I just made a video on the uh, Hartford Whalers. Actually, I can show you guys a trailer, like a commercial break or something like that. Oh, snap. That's Sam Bennett. Is that Sam Bennett or Kachuk on the tip? Yeah, just the tip there. That's Matthew Kachuk. Sorry, I'm talking about myself there. I <laughs> always, always great timing from my side. Let's give Cortana a gold treat. Hey, go, boo. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Kazuma. Yeah. Yeah, nobody was really. Wow. So, Kachuk able to uh, deflect that over Shesterkin's shoulder. And that's great. You know, a team that's been struggling, they need a goal like that, like a fortunate deflection, right? I know it's by design, but right, where they don't have to get the pretty pass or anything like that, right? They, they have somebody in front of the net, not afraid to take a hit. I think that's good. All right, this is cycled along for Erod. Here he pulls up, he shoots, and saved by Shesterkin. So some good pressure off the goal. Yeah, uh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Here, I, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have a bell. We'll do a bobblehead for Kachuk. How about that? Former Spokane Chief Derek Ryan. How about that? Oh, here the Rangers come three on one. Panarin pulls up and a great deflection by Montour just diving down. And knocked out of the zone, and, and the Panthers dodge a bullet. Here they come again, Lafreniere. He shoots, and a pad save from Bob. And steered out by Akpozo. And Lois Doreen in. Montour dumps it in, looking for Akpozo in front. And stripped there by Fox. A big hit by Cousins behind the net. Was Owen Nolan the best Sharks captain? I'd, I'd say that he could certainly be considered among the best. I'd probably have Pavelski ahead of him. But I love Nolan. I call him the first great San Jose Shark. Two from John. Hey, oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Here, let's fuck up Cortana with some more, some more carrots. Yeah, yeah, go. Review with me coming tomorrow. So yeah, if you see the uh, the bottom of the banner here, Colin, uh, Jaws won't be reviewing the game that we're paying attention to right now, but he'll be uploading a review uh, for the Flyers game tomorrow, later later in the day, and then he'll also do a live stream reviewing that game with you guys on Monday at noon Eastern. That's that's his intent, but of course, you know, understand that that um, it's been a tough time for Jaws, so. I talked to him today, and, and that seems to be his plan. Uh, but, but yeah, hopefully he he you know he's in good spirits for that. But yeah, he he did sound he did sound good today on the phone when I talked to him. Hey, Emperor King, how we doing? Some ranger just took a stick to the face. Wonder if uh, Rempe's going to have to uh, intervene there. Seattle Thunderbirds legend Matt Rempe. Californians need to stop calling it Cali. You're only allowed to say it if you live. Well, actually, no. They'll tell you you shouldn't say Cali, but I'm like, I'm an expat now, so gloves are off. All right, moving it out of the zone. No, Tarasenko couldn't quite get it out, but a pass that gets blocked. And as advantage out on the re-entry with Kreider and a seam pass nicely anticipated there by OEL, a shot and couldn't quite get through the traffic as advantage out was right in Bobrovsky's grill. Also, can we call it SoCal <laughs> or stop calling it?
All right, move down for Reinhardt. Easy pad save there from Shesterkin. Pinched in from the point. And now Reinhardt from the corner, trying to get it into the slot, intercepted by VC. And now here comes the big man, Matt Rempe, trying to chip it by the defense. Matt Rempe against Montour. A scrum in the corner as Montour trying to poke this puck free. <laughs> and now Montour, ooh, takes a hit as he's able to dump that out. Was that Rempe on the hit? Yeah, it was. And now from center ice, advanced by Lorenz. And now scooped up. Here comes Barkley Goodrow. And he lays a hit here on Cousins in the corner. Cousins, good job getting that cleared. Shots favor the Panthers 10-4. to four. Anyone else doing brackets? I'd like to say that I am, but I think I cooked in day one. About uh, 6.30 left here in the first period. Yeah, I think, um, things might be getting a little chippy here. Oh, and a late hit on, uh, I guess that was Schneider who took that one. And actually, there's going to be a tripping assessed here. Ekman Larson's going to be the one going to the box. And so the Rangers power play will take the ice. I, be I believe that's one of the, what, they're probably, what, top five in the NHL? Rangers power play. Let me uh, get a stat on that one. Rangers power play comes in sixth in the NHL at 25.5%. Panthers are, are still fourth. That's a nice little turnaround over the past few seasons, huh? Uh, still live with your final four. That's good. That's good. But yeah, a little bit over six minutes left in the period, and it's going to be a Rangers PP. So, little PP. Oops. There we go. UNC and Gonzaga won. Yep. Down goes Kansas, the gift that keeps on giving. Maple Leafs, 5 nothing over the Oilers. Really? When was the last time the Oilers got spanked like that? Jeepers. <laughs> You're a KU fan. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. I'll 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 end it at that. It's okay, my whoever I'm rooting for, I don't think they're going all the way. They're a good team, but they won't they won't win at all. <laughs> Trey, make it make in the entrance, of course. Yeah, that's a good point. They have played with some purpose after that goal. And now they're uh, you know, upping the physical facet. You don't want to play Nashville in the playoffs. Well, thankfully, you're not uh, in the in the uh, Central Division together, right? All right, here comes the Rangers sixth ranked power play. Uh, what's a uh, Flores PK looking like? I, I should have looked at that too. Reinhardt able to get the clear all the way down and settled by Igor. Yeah, Trey, that wasn't that wonderful of, of uh, Dustin to do. Cortana's frozen. I know because she's waiting in, in intense anticipation of the oh one timer and a save by Bobrovsky fights off that shot from the point by Zabanajad and now here comes Lundell able to send it down. Wife approved. Nice, nice, Dustin. Jeffrey, how you doing? Rangers dump this in, Bobrovsky. Steers it aside for Montour. 
and dumped all the way down. The Panthers PK looking very sharp for the first minute. 87% the Panthers are killing penalties on the road. That is the best in the NHL. And that's very, very impressive. And now, Panthers able to win that battle along the wall and send it back down to Shesterkin. A big pass for Kreider. And he takes some contact right there from Mikola. Good support from Bennett. And now Belinsky is able to clear it all the way down with just 25 left on the penalty. Oh, thanks, Emperor King. I appreciate that, man. Lafreniere at the point. To the other point for Gustafsson. A shot that ramps off Bennett's stick and still alive. And Kachuk sauces this one all the way down to Shisterkin. And a great job on the penalty kill by the by the Panthers. I thought the Rangers had a really good one to start out. This one might have even been a hair better. So back to even strength with 405 remaining. <laughs> oh. And now behind the Panthers net. VC steers it to the point. Miller and a nice block in front. Wenberg shoots it to Bobrovsky. He'll swallow that up. Rempe trying to cause all sorts of havoc. And we get a whistle with 346 left. Matt Rempe, man, what a story. I believe a fifth round pick from the Rangers. And from what I saw during his time in the WHL, it didn't look like he'd have any shot of making the show. But, uh, you know, I know a lot of people don't uh, approve of what he's doing on the ice right right now, but uh, I got to say, I respect the hell out of him for, you know, having at least being able to uh, rise up the ranks and, and get a shot in the NHL. So, yeah, we're in our uh, final commercial break, just FYI. Uh, have a better season. Yeah, you know, for them to have a better season, they got it. It's the same thing it was last year, right? They nearly got in the playoffs last year, but they had such a crappy first half, right? One sorry, one thing that's really worked out for them though is uh, Uka Pekalukinen, and I thought the Byram trade, even though middle they had to give up middle stat, but they've had kind of an embarrassment of riches when it comes to young forwards. So I thought that was actually a, a pretty good move at the time. Uh, give three players head injuries in ten games. That almost looks right to me. Well, yeah, doesn't I mean, imagine watching this guy in juniors when he was. You know, a foot tall, almost a foot taller than just about everybody. Has been better. Byram's been a good pickup. Yeah, that was such a, a cool trade to see at the deadline. Um, a one for one with, you know, a top four defense. Uh, yeah, top four defenseman and a second line center. Like, you would not expect that sort of thing at the deadline. So I'm glad that we got that. We got that. Made things more exciting. Travis Kelsey is doing subway commercials too. Oh boy. All right. All the way for the puck to drop. Got to settle the debate. <laughs> All right. Trocek and Stenlund. Take this draw, and Trocek gets the boot. And in comes Lafreniere. Pardon. Yeah, Spaceman. I haven't seen a Quiznos myself in, like, it seemed like about at least a decade until I last saw Quiznos. There's one in the Spokane airport, though. Oh my gosh, my flight is at 1 or one thirty or something like that. Uh, this upcoming Wednesday, I have to go to Quiznos. <laughs> a shot and a little wide of Shesterkin. Kept in by Tarasenko. Erod, nice job winning that battle over Fox. But the Rangers will come the other way here with 320 left in the opening frame. Nice strip in the neutral zone by Tarasenko. He's got teammates. Tarasenko shoots and a glove save from Shesterkin. And it looked like Erod was breathing down his neck. 
or somebody in, in white. My, Stenlin looks like. He was no subs. Yeah. We need a second goal so Cortana can get some carrots. Yes, or some organic apples. Uh, been to a Ducks game, but not to a Kings or Sharks game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't go to a Sharks. I mean, if you want a cheap ticket, go to a Sharks game. But it's – I was fortunate to actually go uh, right after Christmas when they played the Oilers, and it was just about sold out. But, yeah, it's it's been rough, man, just rough. And it, you, you can almost hear a pin drop in that arena right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're playing in the 2026 Olympics, yeah. Which I understand, you know, that some people want to see amateur talent compete, but I I, I do want to see the NHL players in it. Are the Sharks the cheapest tickets? Uh, I don't know if they're the cheapest, but they're certainly right there. I'm trying to think of who might be cheaper. You know, before they got really good, the Avalanche were were really cheap. Ducks, I would imagine, aren't that expensive either. Sabres are probably really cheap too. I would think. And now here comes the Banajad in the neutral zone. Good back check from Bennett. Nikola able to get this clear to center ice with 240 left. We're winning gold. I want to go to Italy bad. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. If you haven't been before, it's in it's in what, Milan? Go see uh go see the Last Supper. I, I think anybody can find that a really interesting experience. All right. Here comes Zach Jones at the corner trying to bank it off Bobrovsky. Good retrieval there by the Rangers to keep the possession alive. But a uh, block pass that kicks out of the zone. Columbus tickets being super expensive. Good point, but they they sell much better than um, than their record would indicate. Much much better. Now Zach Jones a shot off Bobrovsky's arm and a nice play by Montour as Bobrovsky had kind of lost sight of where that puck had gone. Cousins, good hit there at the top of the zone, and pinched in here by Ruedel. Nice Panthers just never afraid to finish their checks. Kicked out to the point for Jones. Panarin a shot and blocked immediately. Rangers with eight shots now. And the Panthers able to change up. Here comes Panarin again. Finds the point for Jones. A shot and a, just a little bit over the net. Lafreniere working behind the net now. Funnels it back to Panarin. Down to 106, a shot blocked by Lundell in front. And now OEL able to send this down the ice, but no icing. Nice play by Lundell. A shot and ramps off the stick of Trochik. Uh, Reinhardt shooting that puck, by the way. Oh, Belinskis. Okay, okay. I just got the pronunciation. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, thanks, Dustin. Yeah, man. That's a team that I have a lot of admiration. Like, a franchise I have a lot of admiration for. You know, they they don't hit many, like, home runs with free agency. They never have a top draft pick. And they just almost perennially are just a thorn in your side. And, like, whoever coaches goaltending for them uh, is is... Should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame, just considering all the great talents they've had in goal. Final seconds, Kachuk, not able to, to funnel this out to the point in time for a shot, but Panthers, some really good defensive plays. Really good. Rangers coming fairly hard, but the Panthers aren't here to F around as they skate into intermission up one to nothing. Good period. Uh, 
Google says Rome is only three hours away. Oh, on a bullet train? I guess that would make sense. Best season so far? You mean, do you think it's been their best season ever? For me, it's kind of hard to shake off 2010-11. Uh, you know, I think that's probably... I would say that that's... I don't know, may maybe the best team that haven't won this... If I look at all the finalists since the lockout in uh, 04 05, I think that Canucks team is probably the best one that made it to the final but didn't win. They were so good. They were scary, dude. Like, I, I hated having to face them in the conference final. Um, you, You're happy to see the Panthers have five days off prior to Nashville. It didn't work out. Yeah, I thought that they were going to actually play more like this against Nashville. And I even said that in my video about the Predators. I was like, yeah, they're 13 0 and 2. And their reward for that now is the Florida Panthers. Nope. Uh, 21 1 and 3 when leading out the first. Wow. Who does Rempy think he is? Kids straight trash and can't even hit. Right. I know. I, like I said earlier, I was surprised that this dude would, um, you know, actually get some time in, in the show. But uh, if, uh, if his teammates like his intensity, that's good for them. But uh, yeah, I, I think he's been certainly uh, kind of on, uh, you know, he's been doing more than just crossing the liner once or twice. You know, it's uh, to see him get his suspension for the elbow. I mean, that seemed like a just uh, penalty for his, uh, for his actions there. And I, I want to see the dude succeed, but I don't want him to be, you know, taking shots at, at guys like that uh, in order for that to happen. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of a team that, like, speaking of the Rangers, it's kind of like a team that brings in Ryan Reeves. You know, as the season progresses, his value goes down for for the most part. Most fair is in Oscar. Hmm. You've always wanted to go to a World's Fair. I've always wanted to go to Japan, but it's gonna be a, a while to do that. Coyotes have a good young roster. Yeah. I mean, like they've got they've got some firepower in that offense, right? Like besides Keller, you, you know, Keller's like the old guy out of that group, right? You got you've got uh Dylan, you touch my tra la la Gunther. <laughs> you've got um Logan Cooley. You've got uh the under or the uh, underlooked um Matias Michelli. Uh, do I have even more seething hatred? Um, mostly. Yeah. But, um, right now my, my temper, my temperament's very s settled down right now just because, you know, they don't have their full roster back and I haven't seen hurdle, you know, actually skating in that uniform just yet. I don't, I, and I have no, no qualms about hurdle leaving. Like that, that's totally fine. I totally get it. Uh, next year. Oh, you want to go to the, yeah. Do they have a, um, the, that universal probably has what the super Mario world or whatever it's called. Super Mario land. I can, I can only imagine how amazing that is in Dubai next. Yeah. Interesting. Who's the projected first overall? Yeah, you're right, James. It's, it's at this point, it's pretty consensus that it should be Macklin Celebrini. Um, Celebrini is still 17 years old and he's like right at the top of scoring leaders in NCAA. He's right there. And so is that killer line of, um, Will Smith, who was drafted by the Sharks, uh, um, Gabe Perot, and who's the other one? Ryan, fuck, frick, uh, Ryan, what's his name? I don't know. But I think all those guys are just freshmen too. So that's that's nuts. How did Bjornfoot do? I didn't notice him taking that having that much ice time. Didn't he seemed just fine? I mean, he he didn't seem to have any uh issues, I didn't think. If anybody else has uh you know can weigh in on that. Uh he won't be ready for another two to three years. Uh Celebrini. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. 
he wouldn't. I don't think that he would necessarily break in next year. It's not like Bedard, where you know you got somebody who is considered a generational talent. It was good. Bjornfoot made some clears. Uh, but yeah, like I hardly even called his name, just because <laughs> Ryan Carpenter, Rangers legend Ryan Carpenter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Sharks. Um, only the Bulls could outsell them in merchandise that first year. Red Wings should make the playoffs. I yeah, for you know, for me, that that was like the gold standard of hockey uh, for a long time. So to me, it just feels it felt so weird when they moved to the Eastern Conference. I I understand why, but I really do wish they were in the West. But yeah, I'd like to see them back in the Yoffs. Other teams should let us have him. Oh God, what if the Penguins end up with a top ten draft pick, or the Devils? I don't know what would upset me more. The Sharks losing the first overall pick to the Ducks or a team like the Penguins or the Devils getting him. I might I might eat my hand, honestly. Could Chuck <laughs> Hi girl. How you doing? Do you need me to take you outside? I can take you outside. I offered before our live stream, Cortana, but you said no. Here, you can have an apple, though. How about that? Come over here, girl. Okay, thank you. Whoop. And down. That's a good girl. You quit. <sighs> yeah, that, that would suck, but I mean, it's certainly not out of the realm of possibility. But don't worry, my Sharks will continue the tank tonight. In case you didn't know, it, there is a tankathon going on in San Jose between the Hawks and the Sharks, uh, starting, I believe, at 1030 Eastern. Let's uh, take a look at our um, at the scoreboard for today, everybody. We'll have some fun with that. They want it a year from now, and Bedard's evil cousin. Oh, really? What tricks does Cortana know? That's a good question. Here, let's uh, let's entertain a little bit. All right, here, here, boo. Can you sit? Try right, sit, sit, boo, boo, sit. It's kind of weird for her right now because she's. Um, am I streaming during the Hawks game? No, I won't be doing that. I'll be doing streams during the playoffs, though, for sure. Um, here, can you sit? Come on, come on. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl. She's still kind of on her bed right now, so she doesn't really know what's going on. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. There you go. Okay, sit. Anything go shake. Okay, can you can you do it again? Okay, you're not really doing it. Here, can I get a kiss? Yeah. All right, there you go. All right. Oh, you couldn't really see that too well. Uh Gavin McKenna. Oh, okay, okay. Skynet Bedard. Is that right? I have heard of Gavin McKenna. Is isn't he that that no wait I already we already know about a I forget what what program he's in he's uh, with Medicine Hat there's like a 16 year old who just, who's like on this otherworldly pace right now and is basically projected to be number one I think in 2026 uh, going to the Panthers game next week nice that's cool I'm gonna be on the road um. On Thursday, go into the Hurricanes game against the Red Wings. First time at uh, PNC Arena. Yeah, sure, Tim. Hey, my, my pleasure. All right, let's take a look at the scoreboard. See what's going on. The Warrior. Okay, Gavin McKenna. Okay, let, let me let me just search this up. Gavin McKenna. Oh, my God. He kind of looks like... Am I seeing a resemblance? You are so right. Oh my god, I'm pu I'm pulling up a, an image of this guy. Oh, so yeah, he's the guy who plays for for Madison Hat. He's he's draft eligible next year. I mean, he looks the the dude looks like already like he's older than Bedard. All right. Well, anyway, I'll I'll pull that up. Hold up. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, entire screen. That should be fine. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, this guy's like only 16. And he's like putting up all kinds of records and stuff. But yeah, I can kind of see what you're saying. <gasps> Watch, he goes to the Penguins in 2025 or whatever. All right. So uh, here is what happened in the NHL today. Islanders still kind of hanging tough in that wild card conversation or even for third in their division, right? You get a 6-3 win against the Winnipeg Jets. That's pretty impressive. Uh, Clutterbuck. Clutterbuck with two goals. Whoa. Shout out. Same birthday as me. Uh, Nemestikov, Palmieri got a goal. 23 for him. That's that's a good rebound for him. Fashing, Barzell, and Andersley, just his 18th of the year. As uh, Yeah, they were, they were kicking Winnipeg's butt for a while there. Uh, going to Finland for uh, the Cats next season. I'm not. Unfortunately, I I won't be making it over there for that. That'd be super awesome, though, man. It's I had such a good time over there um, about a year and a half ago. All right. And uh, Flyers, man. Gutsy win against the Bruins. Konechny. Now, I know he's not going to be a finalist for any major awards. Well, maybe Selkie. I don't know. But to me... I think the biggest like unsung hero in the NHL this year is Travis Konechny. Just huge goal after huge goal after huge goal. And just uh, you know, the catalyst for their offense. I mean, Owen oh, although um he who shall not be named has also been quite an addition for that team. Yeah, Konechny with uh two goals for the Flyers and Tyson Forster, good. He could have himself a 20 goal season. That that's fantastic for him. Uh, already have a lofty vacation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Don't want the lightning in the first round. Yeah, but don't you don't you want it? Just to beat the crap out of them. Uh I discovered the mute button. That's funny. Uh blues. Did the blues just have constant ownage over the wild? That's one that Minnesota certainly didn't want to drop, but at least they get a point. But these teams are trying to catch up to the Knights. As uh, Neighbors ha- uh, scores his 25th. Jake Neighbors coming out of nowhere, 25 goals. And then we had a hat trick from Jordan Cairo. Marco Rossi reaching the 20 goal plateau. That's fantastic for the Wild, a team that's been very thin at center the last few years. Another goal for uh, Brock Faber, as he still stays alive in the uh, Calder Trophy conversation. Predators, look at this, guys 15 0 2. That is just scary as they have now shut out the uh, Panthers and the Red Wings. The lone goal coming from Mr. Mustache, Philip Forsberg, 39th of the season as he's trying to uh, set a new career high in that category. Whoa, that's amazing, Trey. That's so cool. Plus, I mean, if I have to travel anywhere for food, Thailand would probably be number one on my list. Uh, let's see here. Senators 4-2 over the Devils so far in the third period early on. Uh, thank you, Devils, for your second round pick. Maple Leafs 5 nothing over the Oilers. Goals from Bobby. Who is Bobby McCann anyway? I know he, he signed an extension. 39th for Nylander. Pontus Holmberg. Wasn't he... On the Oilers at one point, or maybe I'm thinking Pontus, a, a different guy with that name. Uh, yeah, two goals tonight. McCann, two goals, or McMahon, excuse me, two goals as well. Uh, Senators, four goals coming from what? Joseph, Greg, Angus Crookshank. That's an awesome name. Makes me think of like, a, you'd be like a character out of a Harry Potter book. That's the coolest name I've heard. Angus Crookshank. Uh, Panthers, of course. And then tonight we've got uh, Flames and Canucks. The Flames want to stay, like, keep their razor-thin playoff hopes alive. This would be an amazing win for them to pick up. Canucks still very much in control of uh, their destiny of winning the Pacific Division. And we've got the Lightning and the Kings. A couple teams that want to make sure they hold on to a playoff spot.
It's cheap and a lot of fun in Thailand. I would imagine so. I mean, hell, I went to um, I went to Bali one time. But uh, do I watch any Division One hockey? Actually, Tim, I just I just watch NHL. I mean, if there's if there's like World Juniors, you know, like a huge tournament, I try to tune in as much as I can. But yeah, I went to Bali, and unless you're staying at the resorts, you can just go around town and and you know, it's it's very affordable. Although, again, they they can anticipate where where um, more visitors from the outside will will be. But um, yeah, Southeast Asia, man, you can you get. A lot of, uh, I almost made a terrible pun, uh, terrible pun, but yeah, you get a lot for, for what you pay over there. Uh, flames are hot and cold. You know, I think that, uh, Husk has done a, a fairly good job with them this year, but, uh, yeah, man, I mean, they, they really do have to kind of tear things down. And, and I mean, they've already started that process too, right? Uh, big ups to, uh, Dustin Wolf, uh, from Sharks Territory. Have four packages and the private suite one is oh, oh only okay that's amazing man that's awesome flames will need to heat up to make the playoffs yes with their uh leading scorer blake coleman right is blake coleman still leading that team in scoring let's check it out uh uh, leading scorer for the Flames is oh, it's actually Kadri. He's overtaken Blake Coleman, and you only have what four more years of him and uh, six more years of Jonathan Huberdeau, right? I was at a uh, Spokane Chiefs, you know, WHL game um, last weekend, and yeah, there was actually a guy in a Flames Huberdeau jersey in front of us. Uh, Margo Sturm, yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, I I vague, vaguely remember that Sturm was a Panther. He was a good shark, and of course, without him, who knows? Maybe we don't uh, get Joe Thornton. Praga Waga, hey, thanks for uh, joining us here. Looking like we'll probably get back to the action. Yeah, yeah, we'll get we'll get to the second period here. Go. Oh, oh, James. Cold blooded. <laughs> uh minnesota can make it to the playoffs um they actually have a decent opportunity i personally don't think they will but you know you, you look at it this way the golden knights now have to play seven of their next eight games on the road or, or they've got that coming up and if they're still waiting to get truly healthy, then that could, you know, give Minnesota a chance. And they play the Knights two more times. But I still don't think the Wild will, will make it. I just don't trust their goaltending enough. I know Flurry's had a, had a better second half, but I just don't see it. All right, here come the Cats. For Hank, it's a two-on-one. A Lundell Make that A2 Lovstarinen. As 21 seconds in, the Panthers make it 2 nothing. 3K for a month-long trip? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I want to be the team playing the Lightning or the Predators. Yeah. You know the Predators when, when they're a wild card, they're especially deadly. How about that, though, guys? One of the fins. But yeah, the net came off, but that was only after the puck had crossed the net. Crossed the line, excuse me. And just great uh, anticipation from, I guess that was Reinhardt on the assist. 
<laughs> Literally, the broadcast just said great patience after I said that. Oh, yeah. Woo woo. All right. Now, Verhege. Oh, just oh, great pressure from behind the net on uh, Schneider. Rangers able to get the clear, but I love, I love again coming out with purpose after a goal. Up to nothing and not falling apart without Barkov. Yeah. Pens and caps need to get younger. Yeah. I mean, Dubas actually did a decent job of kind of making a couple moves at the deadline with the resources he had. And the Capitals have, have started that as well, uh, dating back to last year. And who, I mean, the Caps have still kept themselves in playoff contention, which is amazing. I think for them, it's been kind of addition by subtraction with Kuznetsov leaving. That seems to have benefited both parties. The Carlson trade was a mistake. Well, Carlson's had a very good year for them, but in terms of setting them back from their you know chances of rebuilding, yeah, that does impact them because they've got Carlson for another three years and they're still paying $10 million of his salary. So I, you can cer certainly make that argument. You'd struggle in Italy? Oh, shoot. Slide into my DMs. I'll, I'll teach you a phrase or two. No, I'm not, not that I have any practice with it, but I do know some Italian. So, uh, Tampa and their run. Give Kucherov the heart. That's probably the first thing I'd say. But I don't, I'm still not the – I'm honestly not the biggest believer with how Vasilevsky's played. So I could I see them maybe winning a round against a team not named the Panthers? Sure. But – I don't see them going any further. They've been a little disappointing to me this year. I thought they would have been better. Uh, Uvis, wait, was it? Baleniskis got the, uh, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, got the uh, secondary assist. Nice. Kraken are going to miss the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, they're they're cooked. Disappointing, man. They were Because I watched them a bunch last year because they, they were just scoring at will. At even strength, they led the NHL in even strength goals. Nice save, Bobrovsky. And a good tie-up in front of the net by Mikola against Rempe. But yeah, it's been a bad year for the Kraken. Um, I would love to see the Kraken get Berkeley Catton in the first round. Uh, from our Spokane Chiefs here. That would be the perfect weapon, by the way. Uh, thank you, John, for the for, for the dose. Let's give uh, Cortana a goal treat. And again, 50% of our Super Chats will go to the Maryland SPCA, the state where Jaws lives, to help out puppers in need. Uh, doing the Finland trip? Awesome. All I got to say is make sure you budget for some uh, reindeer. You won't regret it. It's quite good. The Oilers comeback is on. All right. I uh, didn't know... Oh, you didn't know that the Kraken had beat the Avalanche? I mean, they, they nearly took out the Stars, too. They they played awesome during the playoffs, for the most part. They were so fun to watch, man. I would love to see that come back. But yeah, they, they need like they need a couple of real stud forwards. I know they have Shane Wright in the prospect pool. And I know that the Nears is still very young. But but yeah, they need a little more help there. And now OEL from behind his net, trying to get the clear. But it trickles out to Fox. Out to the other point as the Rangers get the cycle set up. But Lafreniere loses the handle on it. And Reinhardt able to steer her to Lundell and get the clear. <laughs> All I hit a fucking reindeer. You should. And now Kako. Speaking of Finns. And Kachuk not able to get the clear here. A shot and off the stick of Montour. Good block. Montour looks to be having a pretty solid game so far. And now Bennett. And an easy back check there from... I couldn't see who that was with the Rangers. Somebody who I, did, who I didn't know would be in the lineup. Let me just say that. 
and dumped down by New York on tour. Looking behind the net. And now, oh, in front for, oh, nice back check there from Tarasenko. Even Wenberg uh, <laughs> out of Bobrovsky's grill. Bobrovsky, nice little arm save. And now Verhege couldn't quite get the clear. Dustin dropping a buck in the chat. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Another treat for Cortana. Can you see the northern lights from Finland? You can, yes. Although it's it's pretty cloudy in the south. Uh, because you know you're getting close to the Baltic Sea there. But absolutely, right? You can go to uh like Rova Niemi is the biggest city north of the Arctic Circle, big skiing town. It's supposed to be pretty freaking cool there. So I'd like to go check that out. You saw them in Maine. Oh, that's rad. It's not very often that I can see them here. Very rare, I should say, because we are it's almost completely cloudy um during the colder months. But uh, oh, shot and a save by Shesterkin off of Rodriguez. But I really like to. Yeah, Byfield was my number one breakout to watch this year, and he has not disappointed. Yeah, in Lapland, that's right. Yeah, it's basically the uh, Nordic Arctic Circle. You want to see the uh, Panthers win the cup, even though you're a, a Tampa fan? Oh. Keep Byfield in fantasy. Yeah. That's a team that did a really good job of kind of retooling itself on the fly. They didn't get bogged down by veteran contracts and turnover because it's off the post. Nearly a chance for them to go up 3 0. And now Trochik the other way, backhander into the slot, picked off. And Ekman Larson able to bump it. And now Bjornfoot trying to make a play up the ice. Sealed off along the boards. And now Trocek. And our delay call to the the Panthers. I don't know if it was a boarding, but we'll get the penalty in just a second here. Oh, boy. Ocposo to the box. To the, yeah. Uh, 1444 left in the second period. <clears throat> it's a holding to uh, Kyle Ocpozo. And yeah, yeah, that's that's a good call. But yeah, Cousins earlier clanged one off the iron. Dana, with the super sticker, thank you so much. Let's give Cortana a, a carrot here as uh, the Cats are on a penalty kill. But again, going into this game, 87% on the road. Here come the Oilers. All right. Well, yeah, the Maple Leafs... <laughs> They have definitely blown a five-goal lead before, right? Against the Senators, I want to say, uh, about uh, during the uh, bubble season. Oh, a shot and a save by Bobrovsky off the top of the glove. Into the high slot, back pass to the point for Fox. Shot, looking for the tip, and Bobrovsky might have gotten a piece of it. It went just wide of the net. Intercepted by Olenskis. Okay, okay, good. I think I said his name right. Uh, no lead is safe in Toronto, yes. Cousins improved a lot over his last 10 games. Well, good. Then that keeps that keeps him in the lineup for more than just uh, being a pain in the ass for uh, opponents. Uh, for the Sharks, you like that? Yeah, me too, man. I, I didn't like how Zetterlin played when he came over at the trade last year, but I guess he just needed a, an offseason to acclimate properly. And, and ever since, I've really liked him. I mean, he's not going to be somebody who scores you know 30 goals for us, but 
his intensity, I just think his demeanor is something that on a struggling team keeps the boat somewhat afloat. And um, he's, what, 24? So, I mean, if he can stick around, kind of like Barabanov did for a couple of years, I'd be happy to see that because, yeah, he's earned it. Fox on the hustle. He scores. Adam Fox cuts the lead to one. Well, usually during my streams, I give a treat no matter who scored. But we won't do that here. Let's take a look at this again. Yeah, Bobrovsky had a little bit of heat from Kreider in front of the net. Lifting time. Oh, shoot. I got to get my dumbbell. Not, not, the easy, not exactly the easiest position for this, but... Adam Fox, uh, 14th goal of the year. I got to look. I got to get a commercial break first, or at least a long whistle, so I can uh, go down and get a dumbbell. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just pick up Cortana. And now the Rangers pressuring a little bit here. A shot from the side of the net, saved by Bobrovsky out of the backhand in the slot. A shot and. Oh, McDonough said that that uh, Bobrovsky got a pat on that one. That was a hell of a, an outstretched pad from Bubba. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Another chance off a turnover, and BC was not able to tip that in. Verhege has gone. He's scoreless in his last fourteen games. Unspeakable. He's saving it for the playoffs, though. And now Mahura able to trickle that out of the zone, but the crowd has come alive here at the Garden. Stenland flips it to Mahura, backhander cleared. And retrieved by Ruedel. Good hit there. And now Bobrovsky trying to get some help behind the net. Uh, Montour. And now Erod. And wasn't able to quite connect with his teammate down the ice. And the Rangers will come back with Panarin. The bread man. Off the side of the net. Rodriguez. And yeah, the Rangers come in with all kinds of pressure on this four check. A one timer and a score for Panarin. God damn, that guy's having one hell of a year. And it's tied just like that. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. That's just, that's a twitch. That's a twitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I give back a super chat? I, I, I always give it to whoever scores, no matter what, on my streams. I always give out. Give out the snacks. That's my that's my mistake. But yeah, just like that, the Rangers just relentless, like Nandor, on those last three shifts. They scored again because they didn't lift. That's probably true. Cortana, I'm, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to need you for this one, girl. Come here. Here, here, come here. Come here. Come here. Here. Chicken bake. Come here. Hey, come here, chicken bake. I got you. There we go. Huh? Yep. Mm. Yep. 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 We got Cortana here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> There, it's a good girl. Okay. We need a rally hat. Yeah, it's probably true. <laughs> take a timeout. Actually, that would not have been a bad time to take the timeout. <sighs> All right. 
20 to 17. Now the Rangers are actually leading in shots. Why wasn't Cortana counting? She's uh, instead she's uh, counting. She's uh, wondering when I would put her down because she does not like that. And Verhage is going to get a slashing here against Kako. Yeah, and you can't not call that one either. As we go to a, um, as we go to a commercial break. Oh, jeez! But it'll be a Rangers power play when play resumes. Not good. Not good. <sighs> yeah, this the momentum just turned on a dime in this game. And don't forget, like the Panthers came out scoring the goal instantly, 21 seconds into the period. And then they played really hard following that goal, too. Refs giving the Rangers all they got. Well, how do you not how, how do you not call the slash in there, right? All right, maybe I do need to lift. Yeah. All right, here. We'll get a we'll get a dumbbell. Rangers are scary, yeah. How are we skating uphill during the period? Yeah. They were definitely on their heels, though. The Rangers' forecheck was just looking absurd. Yeah, we'll get to the uh, power play here for New York. Celebrini could be a good player. I could help the Jackets. Jackets would uh, have to move up a few spots in the draft. But the Jackets have all sorts of young talent at forward, you know? Like, I don't, I, I don't think that you can say that there's a team that needs him more than San Jose. Although, one team who actually could use him, uh, Canadiens, I think that that would be a, a fairly good choice. A dog, what's going on? All right, so now Rangers power play here. I guess I gotta gotta do this at the same time. Should have should have taken off a few. Gotta do arms. Oh, one timer and a save from Bob. Trocheck moving it around the horn. Baseball analogy. It's almost baseball season. Dodgers suck. Panthers bring it the other way. Here comes Reinhardt. Okay, okay, okay. Got to pull it down. NC State, let's go. Did they uh, they get a dub? I'm rocking a Chapel Hill shirt here. And Panthers able to get the clear the first 40 seconds gone. Oh no, my broad broadcast cut out. That always happens at least once a game. Even the Ducks could work for Celebrini. Yeah, but the Ducks, you can get they've been gifted so many players. Zegris, McTavish, Zellweger, Carlson, Drysdale at one point. They trade for Gauthier. And they they barely they get like two points better in the standings every year. So you know, the Ducks don't need it. They've had their chances already. Zabanajad. Out to the point for Fox. Sends it over to Panarin. Back to Fox. Mika down low. Kreider. Funnels it back to Fox. The goal scorer, or one of the goals. The other goal scorer, Panarin. Awful lot of pad kick going on here. 
Nice play from Stenland. Almost able to get the clear. Still alive. Final five seconds in the power play. Trocek moves it down. Panarin. Man, a save from Bob. What a great positional save. A absolutely fantastic anticipation to uh, keep that out of the net with his biggest save of the game. Well, let's see if the Panthers can respond now that we're back to even strength. The Panthers need Celebrini. Too bad you'd, you'd have to like lose. You'd have to lose every game in the regular season, and you'd have to like somehow lose like twelve games in the postseason. I don't know. And the refs were going to announce something at the center ice. There, it might be a penalty. Five two Senators over the Devils. Personally, I like seeing that. Well, shoot! If this team stinks, maybe I need to keep lifting. So that my my I got some forearms and I can I can go out there myself and uh, you know throw the body a little bit with my uh, bulking 165 pound frame. But yeah, that save from Bubba on uh, on Zabanjad was was wonderful. Go to Boston and Leafs fans are calling you pussycats. How? What do the Leafs have to show uh, the last 56 years? Oh, we're going to get a PP? We're going to have a big PP? All right. All right. I, I like the sound of that. Here, Cortana. Get back on camera, huh? Over here, boo-boo. Uh, can you lie down? All right. But, yeah, I really do appreciate everybody hanging out here. Uh, while our, our guy Jaws powers through um, a very tough time, obviously. I'm fortunate that Cortana is my first dog, but unfortunate in the sense of I don't, I don't know what that's going to feel like when, you know, year, years down the road when, when her time comes. But you never know, right? Jaws says, hug him while you got him. And uh, he's right. Want a good end for the, because he made me faces. Yeah. You can you can find bigger bones to pick with Gudis. The Sens have a lot of young players. Yeah, that's another team that hasn't been able to get it together with with that core just yet. Fifth straight tonight against LA. Well, even though I'm here on a Panther stream, I will never object to uh, the LA Kings losing. So uh, get down with your bad self. Oh, wow. If the Rangers win tonight, which isn't going to happen, then New York would have the best record in the East. Montour feeds Tarasenko. Down low. Kachuk. Oh, looking for the seam pass. Nicely anticipated and cleared out. Got to keep me lifting all, all night. I don't know, Great White. That last stop they had on Mika was fantastic. Is that you, Louie, lurking in the chat? Awesome to have you here, dude. Hey, take care of Tommy for me, man. Take care of Tomas Hurdle. Tarasenko cycled for Kachuk at the dot, looking in the slot, but he telegraphed that pass, and it's cleared down. First minute gone by in the power play. Here comes Reinhardt. Dumps it for Tarasenko behind the net. Drop pass for Verhege, looking for the point. The Panthers just do not want to shoot on their power play, do they? Carter Verhege with some speed into the zone. Dumps it around. Shesterkin can't quite play it. Reinhardt, now Bennett jumps in. High slot, Montour. And now Bennett from the half wall. One touch. Montour, top of the circle. To Verhege. The penalty kill here for the Rangers. Very aggressive. Verhege. Rips it. And over the net. Still alive for Montour. Good chuck from behind the net. Looking for somebody out in front. And nobody's there. 
Still in the zone, though. For Huggy, one-timer and a pad save from Shesterkin. Bennett, nice knock down there. He's got Reinhardt. Reinhardt sending it down low. Back out to the point. We're back to even strength. A shot. And that just trickles wide as on the doorstep was Reinhardt trying to tip it in. Yeah, that power play was, was pretty garbage up until that last 20 seconds. And the uh, Cats power play now 0 for 2, I believe. Uh, under six to go here in the period. And now a shot and a pad save from Bob off of, I believe, Fox. And now in a foot race, here they come. And a nice back check there from Eric Gustafson. All right. Stenland just uh, trying to. Settle things here for Ekman Larson. Lorenz. Circle and a shot that gets saved by Shesterkin off of Rodriguez down to 517 left here in the period. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Hello. Yeah, but not like that. No, not, not like that either. There we go. That's what I like. Commercial break. Uh, any other uh, Oilers and Maple Leafs is still going on. Oilers are down 5-3. So with 3.39 left, they could make it happen. It's not out of the realm of possibility. They got back in this game with goals from... Hyman... God, Zach Hyman has 49 goals. Unbelievable, man. And uh, Corey Perry, his 10th of the year, and then Dreisaitl, number 36 on the campaign. We'll see if the Oilers can find a way to uh, you know, empty the net and uh, put even more pressure on Toronto. Yeah, it's it's almost like scripted when the Leafs lose a, a sizable like that, right? You you almost expect the other team to win, even if they're down five nothing going into the third period. That has happened one other time that I can think of. Not to Toronto, but uh, actually against Edmonton all the way back in 1982, in what has become to be remembered as the miracle on Manchester. As the LA Kings erased a 5 0 deficit in game three, the first round in the 1982 playoffs. Oh, Martin Jones has had to come in. Jeez. Martin Jones, of course, always dear to my heart for um, some stellar performances with my Sharks, including uh, in their run to, to the, to the, to the uh, final in uh, 2016. All right. Oh, speaking of sharks, former shark Johnny Brodzinski winning the uh, faceoff. And Mikola able to pop this out of the zone. Trickles all the way down to Shesterkin. And now Zach Jones. Trickles down to the Panthers zone for Belinskis. Jumped down by Mikola. And now with 4.30 left, uh, picked off in the neutral zone by Lundell. Been kind of quiet this period. Now Lois Renan 
In the Rangers corner, Reinhardt jumping in. Still a fight for the puck here. And now bumped by Ruedel over to Roslevic. Still an hour until puck drop. Oh, it sucks, Nick. Yeah, that'll get over, uh, what, about 12.30 for you? Reinhardt bumping it over to Lois Torina and any fans on the one-timer. That would have been nice if we would have been able to throw that on goal. And now Reinhardt. Roslevic loses it to Bennett outside of the zone, though. So the Panthers had to re-enter. Sent down the ice by Sam Bennett. And now a nice back check there from Verhage. But the Rangers able... Oh, well, I guess neither neither team wants the puck right now. Fox, a high backhander glove down by Bjorn Foot. Almost got into trouble there. VC, somebody stick goes flying. Dana dropping a couple super stickers. Thank you, Dana. There you go, Cortana. Yeah, yeah, go, good girl. Uh, under three left in the second period. Now Zabanishad trying to scoot it ahead. He's got Wenberg. Actually, who who's that for the Rangers? Yeah, that's right. Wenberg doesn't wear doesn't wear twenty one. I have to remember that. He did in Seattle. Oilers get their fourth before you score. Uh, it's six on five right now, but the Oilers are still down 5-3. Was that another super sticker from Dana? That's at least what's showing up in StreamYard as my chat has maybe glitched or something. Okay, okay. Got it. Okay, I got two super stickers from you. All right. Rodriguez. This is still in the Rangers corner. Tarasenko. I've liked his game tonight. Trying to wrap it around. Not to uh, be confused with a reach around. And now the former Ranger dumping it down and, and Miller will settle this from behind his net. Slapped in by Lorenz around Shesterkin. Now the half wall pinching in was Mahura. Rangers trying to dump this down behind the Panthers' defense, but back checking there was Brandon Montour. A buck twenty to go here in the period. Shots are even at twenty three. <laughs> no, that's that's uh, something that happened when I went to a Predators game. Somebody called a wrap around or reach around. The gal was rather inebriated too, so it was very entertaining. Uh, Dream Stanley Cup this year. Oh, boy. Should I hold my tongue? Oh, and a nice block in front there by Braden Schneider off the shot from the point. <laughs> 45 seconds left in Toronto. All right, Panthers. A little pressure here. A shot from Bjornfoot and a nice diving uh, block there by Fox. Ryan Hart looking out in front, and that gets... Deflected and cleared from the zone, but down to 30 seconds left. I'll answer your question too, um, Great White, just a moment here. Let's just get to the end of the period if we can, or wait for a whistle. And now Bjornfoot advances it up for Sam Bennett at center ice. Rims it around the net. And Panthers are kind of one and done in the zone. Some good pressure though. And a trip? Is that going to get called or not? That's BS. That's ridiculous. That should be tripping to end the period. I don't know. That looked that looked pretty textbook to me, but maybe I'm just looking at things through, through red colored glasses. But uh, Dream Stanley Cup. Uh, let's just say if the Panthers were not to make the Stanley Cup, I would. I want to see a, a rematch of 2006. Give me Oilers and Hurricanes with uh, Brent Burns lifting the Stanley Cup. But, um, yeah, I 
if I had to choose some other teams I'd like to see win, I wouldn't mind seeing a Canadian team win. I don't really have a favorite Canadian team, but like if let's say Winnipeg or Edmonton or Vancouver, if one of those teams won, I'd be cool with that. Or I'm not, I've never been a Dallas Stars fan by any means, but I wouldn't mind seeing uh, Joe Pavelski right off into the sunset as a Stanley Cup champion. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's somebody else. I mean, hell, if, Phil, if Philadelphia went on a dream, like a crazy run, like if it was Philadelphia and Nashville, that would be unprecedented to say the least, but I wouldn't I wouldn't complain about that at all. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there are a number of uh, another a number of matchups I'd be I'd be cool with. But who would I want to see the Panthers face most of all? Winnipeg. Why not the uh, the Paul Maurice Cup, right? Philly isn't deep enough. Th that's I think a fair assessment. And I don't know if they're gonna. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where they would have to. One of their goaltenders would have to get pretty damn hot. Or um, you know what? What, what about Panthers over the Avalanche? You know, a little ninety six retribution. I, I would like that personally too, because I think that that Colorado is right up there as a, a top three, if not the top exciting, most exciting team to watch. Refs hate the Panthers. I mean, I don't think that the calls that have been assessed against them, I don't, I don't see how you don't make those calls, but yeah, that last, that last lack of a tripping that kind of did upset me to, to, to not see that called Panthers uh, revenge over the Knights. I'd be a little bit scared going into it, let's just say, but I would certainly approve of such a, res a, a result. Sure. Altitude's another factor. Yeah, the, the abs have the best record uh, at home this year. And McKinnon has scored at least a point in every home game. Isn't that just bonkers? The only person who's ever done more is Wayne Gretzky. He didn't, he didn't go pointless in any of his home games in that season. And McKinnon doesn't seem like he wants to as well. I still don't think that the Knights are going to miss the playoffs, though. I don't trust Minnesota. St. Louis, maybe, but the Wild have to win their two games against the Knights. And the Knights would have to have a really tough uh, time on that road trip. They play seven out of eight of uh, yeah, They have a seven of eight road games, like, you know, bundled together. Sorry if I didn't say that very <laughs> articulately. Uh, still needed to get to the finals. Yeah. How about beating the lightning to get there too? I'm sure you'd like that quite a bit. Blues would be a first round exit. Yeah. I mean, like I'm not even thinking about, about the blues, uh, being in the playoffs. Has any former champ ever missed the playoffs? Yeah. 2014 Kings is the first one I can think of. Yeah. 2014 Kings. That's the last time I think a team won the cup in the midst of the playoffs. Uh, McKinnon better than McDavid right now? <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's it's fair to say that I think you can make the argument that right now McKinnon's better than McDavid. I don't think it's definitive, but I think that this year, sure, he's probably been better, not by a whole lot. Um, but again, like. I I usually gravitate like when we're talking about an award for the most valuable player. That's the thing. It's not the the Ted Lindsay Award is for the what? Actually, that's for the most valuable player as decided by the NHLPA, right? But I think that when we talk about value, we got to think about somebody who puts the team on his back to even have the opportunity to compete for a Stanley Cup. And I got to be honest here, like Nikita Kucherov has done that probably better than anybody this year. Travis Konechny, again, my my sort of like unsung hero. A 2012 LA Kings run. Uh, for the Predators or, or Red Wings? OG. Carolina in the conference final. And that was rough. Uh, let's see here. Avalanche and Red Wings in the playoffs. Oh, God. I can't imagine that being the final this year, but uh, I I'd be fine with that. Sure. 
Uh, hoping the Rangers get to play the Lightning. The Rangers and Lightning, yeah. Some interesting um, intermingling uh, between those teams over the years. Canadians fans have been making up rumors that the Panthers are relocating to Quebec. Not with uh, the way the turnout's been over the last couple of seasons. But yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, it looked like the, the Panthers were going to be commanding this game mostly, but uh, then the Rangers turned it on with that first power play, and then, yeah. I think the, the Bruins fans are, are a little bit uh, obsessed. You mean like they think that uh, that last year was a fluke? Canes fans are actually scared of the Flyers. That was a really close. That was a really close game uh, recently. I think the Canes should be, if anything, they should just be, uh, you know, they should just be scared of themselves, honestly. But I like that Gensel and and Kuznetsov, for that matter, too, have fit in really well so far. And uh, a player like Gensel is is a good guy to have in that group. Although I I am a little bit concerned that they might not be physical enough to withstand a team like Florida. If, should they get back? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Tr thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. Like I said, we'll be uh, sending 50% of super chats to the Maryland SPCA to help out doggos in need. Uh, top three teams in each conference. You mean just in terms of ranking them by how good I think they are or like favorite three teams. I, I would think you mean, who I think are the best three teams. I don't know if in the West, I don't know where I would put Colorado or Winnipeg. I would think I'd have to at least include one of them. My thing is that I think that if the Knights get healthy, which I'm just assuming they will, I have to put them up there. If you give me their full team on paper, get you got to give me them. Unfortunately, I would say that you, you have to. Uh, would they be best in the West? Uh, thank you, Dustin. Maybe they would be. Uh, the Avalanche are smoking hot right now. And um, not like the best in goal. They've been playing better at that position. But you don't need to be a top five team in goal to win a Stanley Cup. The last two cup runs have proven that to us. So I would still have the Avalanche on there. And I would have to give some respect probably to the, probably to the Jets for top three in the West. I don't trust Dallas. And uh, Panthers fans would know a thing or two about Peter DeBoer. Yeah. Um, and I would say uh, East, I, I've said it before, the Panthers are the most complete team in the NHL. I think they are. Uh, the Rangers right now, are they built to win in the playoffs? That's what my doubt has been. But it's hard for me not to and put them, you know, in that category right now, and then give me the Hurricanes. Because just defensively, they're among the best teams in the NHL. Uh, the goalie issue killed the... Oh, the goalie issue killed the Devils. I don't think it was just that, though. You look at somebody like Andre Palat, largely not a factor for them this year. Uh, Timo Meyer, uh, go until, like, the second half, not a factor at all. And you needed those players to step up. You needed Dawson Mercer to not necessarily be a 35 goal scorer, but you needed him to look like he did last year. And those players weren't showing up enough when the, when the team was facing his injury troubles. So goaltending is an issue for the team. Sure. But they had so many different weapons out there that just weren't performing. So I think that's big too. Dougie Hamilton too. You have to uh, consider his uh, or consider his uh, his absence as well. But yeah, yeah, sure thing. Uh, sure thing. Happy to to weigh in with that. Uh, how did I choose Cortana's name? Oh yeah. Oh great, great question. Oh, stroking the ego. Um, so I used to run a video games club when I lived in the Bay Area in Cal the real Bay Area in, in California. Um, and one of my favorite games, video games growing up was Halo. So during this time, I had the opportunity to adopt a dog. 
And uh, Gray White with the fiver. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, so I had the opportunity to adopt a dog. And I was at this adoption event. And I was just about to go. I was like, okay, like, yeah, some nice dogs. But you get you got to find one that, you know, they you just fall in love with the moment you see it. Or they come up to you and, and you're just like, God, it's meant to be, right? Halo 3, like Halo 1 Cortana. Or maybe Halo 2 Cortana. Not like, not sexy... Cortana from like Halo 4. Um, and so I'm about to leave. I'm walking to my car in the parking lot. And then this van pulls up and little six or seven month old Cortana walks out. And she's just so innocent looking. And when I adopted her, her name was Karma. And I thought, oh, God, I want to name her after a video game character from for some of my friends in, in the video games club, you know, are even more excited to play with her. And so then I was looking up like badass female gaming characters. And then here comes Cortana. And I'm like, hits me like a ton of bricks. And so the transition from Karma to Cortana was instant, too. So that's how she got her name. Uh, yeah, the uh, Hurricanes in a new gear. They've beaten some good teams. They've beaten some good teams recently. Yeah, Ra Raven, hey, thanks for popping in. And yeah, is, wasn't that amazing of Dustin and, and his wife to um, send over to Jaws? Uh, even Jack Hughes hasn't scored as much either. Yeah, it, it, I, I'm not I'm not saying that for him it's, he's been a disappointment, though. I don't think so. I think he's been he's been good. I mean, the guy was off the charts last year. Oh, yeah, he has tailed off a little bit in the second half, but I wouldn't be so concerned about him, right? He's not even 23 years old yet. I wouldn't be as concerned about Hughes. It's more like those free agency signings. Uh, Timo Meyer's been hot, though, in the second half, but it's kind of like, again, it's like, yeah, but you, you didn't do that when we needed these wins as much, right? And I love I love Timo Meyer being a, a Sharks fan, of course. Halo 1 was epic. Absolutely. Heck, yeah. Uh, not a high scoring team. The Jets aren't. They talk about a team that added by subtraction uh, by getting rid of Dubois and getting um, Iafalo and Velarde. Not to mention they got um, Tyler Toffoli at the trade deadline and didn't even have to give up a first rounder. I thought that that was a fantastic move for uh, Shovel Day off. All right, let's see here. Any other? Uh, I think that there aren't that as, many, as many evening games. There, there are a couple of late games that haven't started yet. We've got uh, Jackets and Golden Knights, Lightning versus Kings, and, and Blackhawks versus Sharks, in addition to Flames versus Canucks. Those are all 10 p.m. or, or later for, for y'all on the East Coast or in the Eastern time zone. Uh, Mark Stahl. Uh, Shoot! What? I'm sorry. What? What team does Mark Stahl even play for? Oh, on the Flyers. Uh, let's take a look. Mark Stahl. Was Mark Stahl playing today? Somebody probably already beat me to it, but no, actually, Mark Stahl did not play tonight. Or today, I should say. Now, James James is picking up what I'm putting down for sure. Yes, the Tankathon, the final the final round of the Tankathon this year. I think the Hawks have won both games. So, as a Sharks fan, go Hawks! You got to go to uh, T-Mobile Arena. Yeah, you know, at some point, I I do really want to go. Just, I'm not in a rush per se. I have other 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 arenas, other cities I want to go to first, probably, especially in Canada. Take a little roadie over to Calgary or Vancouver or something like that. Uh, hockey binge Saturday oh, sounds like a sounds like a good day to me. A couple of uh, lower scoring games, though. Actually, this one being just two two. That's that's low scoring by the standards of the NHL today, though, right? Uh, Sharks prospect Will Smith. 
Oh, oh, never mind. He had he had a couple of goals for uh, Boston College, so I love seeing that. Right? Is it Ryan Leonard who plays on that line with Gabe Perot and Will Smith? I, I think that's who it is. Ryan Leonard's what a Capitals pick? I want to say he is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Certainly not talking about the actor. Nope. Almost no scoring. Yeah. But that's cool. Though. Like, you want to be able to still see games like that happen once in a while, in addition to your seven to six barn burners. At least I that's my opinion. Jack and Quinn together. Well, shoot, but how, how about how about Team USA at the Olympics, right? The Winter Olympics. Imagine that, right? Quinn and Jack, or excuse me, you're gonna have like a group out there that has Quinn Hughes and Luke Hughes paired together on defense and then Jack Hughes up the middle. That's going to be crazy, man. It's like the Stastny brothers, right? Except you actually have defensemen this time. Uh, I feel like the wings have played worse with Kane in the lineup. R I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. USA in 2026. Yeah, it could be team USA is the scariest in goal because who's your number one. Hellebuck, I mean, because you got to think about this, it's two years from now. So, like, Hellebuck will be, he'll still be, like, 32 years old or 33 at the, at the latest, right? And the Kachucks, yeah. You could literally have a line of Hughes at center. You could put Brady at wing, Kachuk at the other wing, and then the two Hughes brothers, right? Uh, but, yeah, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have a goaltending trio of, like, Hellebuck, Demko, and Swayman. And I know I'm, ru I'm ruling out, like, another really good one, too. John Gibson's American, but he's always hurt. So, yeah, you could have Demko, Swayman, and and of course Connor Hellebuck as your, your goaltending trio. That's that's nuts, man. But think about um, Tampa to, or not Tampa, Russia, right? Well, no, Russia's not going to compete. I'm sorry. Pro, pro, let's assume that Russia wouldn't compete. But if they were, you would have Shosturkin, Sorokin, and Vasilevsky. I would I would think. Stolarz is American too. Stoller just had a nice career for himself. He he had some really good. Uh, he had a couple of really good seasons with the Ducks too. When you know the Ducks have been pretty not good. Can they sustain it? Is the question. Yeah, imagine imagine the Preds again. Like not that many people pick them to go to the playoffs. Imagine them like knocking off, you know, the the Jets or the Avalanche or the Canucks. No, Bob. B Bubba's going to be, uh, what, 37 at that time? Doesn't mean he still can't be really good, but it's going to be hard for him to, to earn a spot at that point in his career, I would think. Otter from Dallas. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's American. But the thing is, is that like he, he just hasn't been that goaltender so much this year. Then again, my eyes have not been on Ottinger so much for Dallas. It's been... Recently, it's been Logan Stankovin. Absolutely killing it. Are we back to the to the action here? Oh, my God. You guys have been so fantastic keeping the chat moving that uh, I had no idea that we were already uh, underway here with the, the first shift of the third period. But let's see if the uh, Panthers can come out with some piss and vinegar after not drawing a penalty at the very uh, end of that period. Yeah. If I had to choose one goalie to start for like Russia, it's Sorokin. And uh, I hope that uh, Bobrovsky, you know, I think that the the run that he helped the Panthers go on last year, he's got two Vezina trophies. I think he should be a Hall of Famer. I think he should, at this point, I would definitely have him in the Hall of Fame. Uh, are the Panthers looking good tonight? They, they looked really good in the first period, and then they scored initially to start the second, and then they got on their heels there. The Rangers' pressure was relentless. They were able to overcome that eventually, but it looked kind of scary for a while. But um, there's no there's nothing glaring about tonight that makes me think they couldn't win this game unless they have to win it by scoring a power play goal because their power play generally in their two opportunities hasn't looked good. 
All right. Uh, and the Panthers have actually drawn the most penalties in the NHL this year while committing the second most. Now, Miller dumping this in. Kako able to backhand it out to the point. Kako can't quite get a handle on that one. And Tarasenko facing some heat from Panarin. Well, Panthers eventually able to clear here with Stenland. I like what I've seen from Stenland tonight. John McDonough saying the same thing there. Bjorn Foot. And they weren't able to get the cycle completed there to, to funnel that puck to the point. We'll get a whistle here for an icing on the Rangers. Rodriguez. I thought I thought maybe he got knocked down or something, but he seems fine. Getting gassed for the playoffs. Well, again, like I think that if that if you're taking a taking one to the chin right now, that's okay. There's enough time to get it back together, but you got to start showing it in the last. Like really, if you can win this game, I would hope that that means you're you're turning a corner to kind of get back to where you were earlier, uh, before the little skid started. Cortana, what a good girl! All right, we're gonna get a draw here. In the Rangers zone. Bennett able to come up with it. Oh, and Verhege was trying to chip it by the defender. A deflected pass. Barely comes out of the zone. Verhege trying to keep it alive. Moves it ahead for Bennett. Getting around Miller and around the net. Now Verhege, after the handoff, takes a shove from behind. Kachuk gets tripped up. Again, no call there. Mm, that, to me, looked a little sus. A little sus. Canucks uh, score in the first minute. Right on. Uh, is the Red Cap a throwback to Limp Biscuit? Probably the best question we've got all night. No, it's actually a, it's a Philadelphia Phillies hat. Um, that's not my favorite team, but I've had this hat for a while. Um, but when I was in middle school, I did have a red Yankees cap. And then I learned, for anybody who might tune in to the Rangers, I learned to hate the evil empire. So all is right now. Although I got to thank Limp Biscuit for uh, the opening track to uh, NHL Hits 2002. Now Reinhardt, center ice, dumped down by Bjornfoot. Wosterin laying the lumber on Gustafsson. Loose puck here at the half wall. The Rangers slap this out. And now from center ice, nice job there from Lundell. Thought about the shot. He rips one and blocked by Fox. And now settling the puck from behind his net is Ekman Larson. Good play from the Panthers behind the Rangers net. Cousins. Getting around the other 21. Steering you along for Okpozo, working against Zach Jones. Very much playoff like hockey there. With break stuff and closed with break stuff. Really? That seems like a very limp biscuit thing to do. Need a swaggy goal. Yeah. In a tight game like this against a team that they could face in the conference final, potentially. Knock on wood that they have the opportunity to uh, make it that far, then yeah. I uh, love the skate jersey. Yeah, me too. Well, they they made really good refinements to it. And sometimes, like what the Canucks did for their 50th anniversary when they had the, the skate and rink jersey, but they didn't have any like white striping in that, I thought that was not a good jersey. But then reworking the skate jersey, they did a, a banger job with that, and I love it. Yeah, NHL hits was rolling, yeah. Corn was also on that soundtrack, and so was Stained. I think Chevelle must have been on there, too. Now Rodriguez intercepted by Jones and skated out of the New York zone. Entering the zone is Jones. He's heads up to Rimpy and a bad save from Bobrovsky. And now Tarasenko steering it for Stenland. 
I've liked the third line for the Panthers probably the most tonight. Rodriguez trying to get it around the net, and there is Chad Ruidel. VC settling things down. Now can check off the back check, and the Panthers will come the other way. Some speed here for Bennett. Into the high slot, and a good back check. I think he was trying to force that too much instead of waiting for his troops. Now on the wing for Panarin, one of the goals tonight. A one-timer for Miller, and a good back check by Bennett. As hitting the ice was Miller, and Bobrowski able to easily swallow up that puck as the Rangers registered their 25th shot on goal. Positive energy. All right, Cortana, we need some positive, we need some positive energy. P A W S. Can I get a paw? 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 What paw? Yeah, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. All right, face off down in the Panthers zone one by the Rangers. Nice strip of the puck there from, I can't I couldn't tell if that was Lundell. Panthers get the clear. I think it was, yeah. And now re-entering the zone. Lafreniere you're a shot and into the old bread basket of Bobrovsky. We'll get another whistle here with 434 gone by in the third period. Love Elias Pedersen. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a bit of a wizard. We'll get Wenberg in the circle against Bennett. And Benny wins this one. Into the neutral zone for Hagee trying to Bring that one loose. And now settling things in his own zone is Ekman Larson. Bjorn Foot, an easy little chip, making the simple plays. That's all you got to be wishing uh, out of uh, kind of your seventh defenseman. And now shot and blocked immediately. Bjorn Foot getting that block. And now here is Wenberg shifting it over to the point. A shot. And a good job by Bobrovsky at the edge of his crease as Kaka was not able to tip that. Ooh, yeah. We've got a couple of uh, possibilities for an original six uh, first round. You could see something like New York against uh, Detroit or... New York or uh, Detroit against Boston, Boston, Toronto, New York, Detroit, right? That could be pretty fun. Lundell winning this draw in his own zone. So a couple of good face offs by the Panthers in their own end. But Kreider able to strip the puck, working against Lundell, finding the point, and funneled over to Gustafsson. A shot and off the stick of. Reinhardt will get another draw here with the first 531 gone by in the final stanza. Yeah. All right, let's give Cortana another treat here because we haven't had very many goals, so. Here's what we do. We we do the uh, the good old look special over the shoulder, All right? Here here we go. Right? Oh, there's a nice 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 chunk right here. Oh, and off the face off Kreider, almost able to get a stick on that at the edge of the crease. All right, here we go. No look over the shoulder to Cortana. One two three. Oh no, you! Oh, she dropped it. That's all right. We'll get there. Positive energy. Yeah. Do I do I need to pull my Panthers scarf? 
<laughs> from the uh, from the wall there. Uh, Panthers can't get the clear here. Come on, let's let's go here, uh, Balinskis. Hung on by the Rangers. A shot from Gustafson. Gustafson, excuse me. And off the rebound, Rodriguez able to barely advance that and slapped back in by the Rangers. So yeah, the, here comes that four check again for them. But uh, the Panthers able to chip this down. And from his own goal line, Zach Jones will skate her up. Peter Lavia looks like the penguin for bad. <laughs> Here. Here, come lie down. Lie down, please. Here they go. All right, here we go. Let's go with the no look special once again. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, it's a little short. A little short. That's my bad. That's my bad. All right. Peter Laviolette, I think he's third all the time in wins among an American-born coach. Actually, he might be second. I think Ports is now first, right? They're one, two, though, I'm pretty sure. We uh, go to a commercial break here. All right, and while we're waiting, Canucks uh, with that one nothing lead against the Flames, 21st goal of the year for Niels Hoaglander. And the uh, Canucks, are they still pretty comfortably in first? I mean, you got to take into consideration that the Oilers uh, lost to the Maple Leafs just now. A very rare loss in regulation for them or not very rare but a, a rarer but yeah the Canucks are still eight points up on Edmonton even though they've played two more games so really the the difference maker is probably going to be the fact that the Canucks had smoked the Oilers in those three games early on in the season you're good yeah 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 Panthers give your balls a tug Uh, any uh, updates on college basketball? Any uh, upsets? Take a look at that, too. Oh, wow. NC State fought off uh, the University of Oakland. But I believe that's Oakland, Michigan, not uh, California. Because I don't think there's a University of Oakland in California. Cousins trying to chase this one down in the corner against Riedel. And this that's going to be an icing to the Panthers. Am I a Seahawks fan? I am not. Um, being originally from California, my, my very first love was the 49ers, uh, for a couple of years, but, uh, I'm a huge Vikings fan. Yeah. Two of my favorite sports teams haven't won a championship. The Vikings for football and the Sharks for hockey. Yeah. All right, face off here. Standing in, uh, well, Petrosha gets the boot. And Stephen Lorenz will take this draw against Lafreniere. <laughs> TK. Probably not, man. And Cousins. Yeah, Panthers doing a good job winning face offs in their own zones in this period. Who wins a ship first, the Vikings or the Sharks? I mean, if the Vikings hold on to Justin Jefferson, that makes their chances a lot better, I think. Or hell, they could trade him, get a haul. Oh, a two-on-one, and oh, nice block pass there from Keandre Miller. Yeah, that's yeah, tough to get by that guy. Nearly a chance for the Panthers. Uh, almost against the flow of play there. Oakland, California has a junior college. Yeah. Can't remember which what it's called though. Maybe it's just Oakland Community College. I don't know. All right, here comes Alexi Lafreniere. 
Game the zone. Stretch pass. Nice play by Kachuk to break that up as it was fluttering over toward Panarin. In the high slot, a one-timer and an easy save there from Bobrovsky. He'll cover up with 12-16 left in regulation. Oakland City College. Okay, okay. When will Bob have an easy night? Uh, 26 uh, saves for Bobrovsky so far. Now Reinhardt at the top of the Rangers zone. And you're kept in. Only for a fleeting moment, though, as Gustafsson will advance it up. Yeah, Gustafsson's fitting in pretty well with them. Got the cookies? Yeah. That's an errand I haven't, I haven't uh, run in a little... A little bit while. <laughs> of course, I got to I got to go to Washington for that, but that's kind of one reason why I, I live really close to the border. So close enough. Yeah, Panthers haven't had a shot on goal in a while. Let's just say. All right, what is everybody's favorite packaged cookie? Give me a brand and give me a cookie type. What is everybody's favorite packaged cookie? It could be Oreos. It could be, you know, peanut butter Oreos. It could be Milano's, Pepperidge Farm, you know. My favorite, Nutter Butter Wafers. Not normal Nutter Butters. These things are next, next level. They're that freaking good. But they're not very common. Thin mints. Boom. That's a great way to lead things off. I love th thin mints. There we go. Girl Scouts. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, put those things in the freezer. They taste even better that way. Stenlin behind the net. I'll look it out in front. I think he overthought it, though. The dude should have thought about shooting it. Seasonals count? Sure. Sure. They, they absolutely do. Fudge Oreos. Oh, interesting. I'm not as um, familiar with those. Nutter, Nutter Butters, uh, the regular ones, I would think. Yeah, try the wafers if you haven't already, if you can find them. They're absurdly expensive now, but they're so freaking good. Just an amazing, amazing experience. Just that little thin layer of the cookie, if you even want to call it that. And then it's just this gooey peanut butter filling. Amazing. Highly recommended. Nilla wafers. I got some of those. Still in my cupboard. Nicely done. Nicely done. Especially as like those are like the 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 tortilla chips. It's they're like the tortilla chips of cookies. You just dip them in ice cream, right? You scoop them, right? Amazing. Oh, Verhage off the turnover, and he was he fans on that shot. And here come the Rangers from center ice. Tro check rims it around. Ekman Larson able to pop this up into the neutral zone. A bobbling puck settled by Bennett. And now Kachuk, but the Panthers are offside here. Uh, shots in the period. What now? Uh, yeah, no shots in the period. You're right, Dana. Uh, I had a whole bag of Nella. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Nutter butter wafers for me. Serving size is one box. And I've had two boxes in a day before, too. Red Velvet Oreos. All right, going a little off the board. I respect that. I don't think I'm so much a Red Velvet kind of fellow, but I respect that nonetheless. Uh, Oreos covered in white fudge, so you have that cookie and then classic Oreo filling. Inception cookie. <laughs> All right, I'll have to look out for them next time. And now Ekman Larson facing some heat there from both Rempy and somebody else in blue. Zach Jones, lie to the net with that attempt. Animal oh, Circus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's straight facts. Straight facts. Halfway through the third period. And, yeah, the Panthers need to find a way to manufacture some offense to get a clean zone entry and uh, make things a little bit less hectic for Bubba back there. 
Chips Ahoy with the candy bits. Ooh, I like them with the uh, Reese's Pieces. But it's got to be like the, the regular Chips Ahoy, not the chewy ones. I, I can't get on board with those. Fam yeah, Famous Amos is basically like a step above chi like good Chips Ahoy, right? Famous Amos, absolutely. A shot. Bubba able to fight that off. Skated out by Reinhardt. And at center ice, a shot and a save from Shesterkin. And now popped out into the neutral zone by the Rangers. Montour. And now Lundell barely able to get that up ice. Now here's Reinhardt trying to do a seam pass. Really bad decision here. Wenberg trying to get around Mahura. But nice play from 28. I think he's looked fine tonight. In the Panthers' corner. Kreider. Taking contact, contact here from Bennett. Trying to shake him. And now Roslovic a shot that pinballs off a couple skates. Comes out to center ice. A bit of a change of personnel here. As Gustafsson. We'll get back to those cookie comments. We got a whistle here. Blow the whistle. Regular chips, ahoy, not true. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah they, I just don't like the, the way that those other one tastes. Uh, Pepperidge from Macadamia. Ooh, yeah. The white chocolate macadamia is underappreciated, in my opinion. Thin mints. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Butcher Grass. There you go. Only if you keep them on the top shelf. Textbook Maurice Lockdown Hockey. Yeah, but you got you got to play that once you well. It, it it does suit itself well for the playoffs. I think it translates well. But you got to you got to get a little pressure on the other team. Uh, leaves with a big dub against tonight. Yeah, are you from uh, McDavid's hometown? Wait a second. Oh God, oh, shoot! I know it's on. I know it's in Ontario. Um, why 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 am I? McDavid, 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 McDavid. What's that? Yeah. Uh, what is that? Oh, no, no, no. No, wait. It, Richmond Hill, is that what it's called? I'm not Canadian, but that's my best guess. Uh, Alf, sandwich cookies from Argentina? No. I don't, I don't know if I can get Argentinian sandwich cookies in my little neck of the woods here. I wouldn't be opposed to it. it sounds pretty good. Pour a bag of famous Amos in a bowl of milk and have a real cookie crust. <laughs> yes. There are also like, doesn't famous Amos have like those Belgian ones? Like Belgian style or something? I don't know. Or like maybe they have Belgian chocolate cookies. I don't know. Don't know how the Panthers, or you do know how the Panthers are going to win this. Really? I do share. Richmond Hill. All right. Isn't there a Richmond in British Columbia as well? Oddly enough, I'm staying in Richmond, Virginia for a night next week. They do. Oh, okay, okay. They also have, uh, what do they call it? Manila vanilla or something like that? Like, it's a certain kind of, like, vanilla that's... No, no, vanilla coconut. It's so good. I love those. Those are so good. All right, down to 820 left in the period. Charlie Chips. Huh. I can't say I, I remember that. Chips Ahoy is the best. I still think Chips Ahoy, regular old Chips Ahoy is good, especially with Reese's Pieces. I'm all about that. Peanut butter and chocolate, it's the best. It's one of my favorite combos, period. Uh, puck drop about to uh, go down in uh, Shark City here in the uh, Chapter 3 of the Tankathon. Go Blackhawks. Secure point? I hope so, yeah, especially with the Bruins, you know, losing. You, you have an opportunity just to gain a pinch a pinch of ground there. Not a coconut guy. Yeah, yeah not all people are. But, yeah, I'm a, I'm a coconut slut. All right, now behind the net, it's Capococco. Fed in by Wenberg as the two of them cycle the puck. Brings it out to the top of the circle, hands it off, and a pass that gets in or that gets blocked initially there, and a block shot off the stick of Miller by Verhege. 
The Sharks black jerseys? Yeah. Oh, throughout the years. Yeah, but the newest ones might be the best. I think those are pretty sweet. Reese's is the best. Uh, favorite candy bar is Reese's Fast Break. Did I eat a king-sized Reese's Fast Break today? Maybe. All right, now we get a change in personnel for the Panthers. And sent all the way down behind Shesterkin. Mounds and Almond, Almond Joy. Yeah, there you go, man. Especially Mounds. I don't I don't really care for the nut. Single nut, right? I think it's kind of weird with the uh, Almond Joy. But yeah, Mounds are dark chocolate Mounds. Oh, Trocha gets dumped by A2. Big hit. The former Panther meets his maker. Good colors, but a bad team. Exactly. I'm proud. I'm proud of my horrible team. And now A2 can't quite get the clear there. He got too fancy with it. Fox from the point. Circling around A2, it actually gets him to fall to the ice. A shot from the top of the circle, though. I think LaRose Renan got a piece of that. Otherwise, that could have gotten on goal. A one-timer for Panarin and Bobrovsky getting a piece of that one. Nice lateral movement. The dangerous bread man. Fox, high slot. LaRose Renan, the Panthers have to be tired. They've been hemmed in their zone this shift. Down to under six now. Shot in and blocked. And Lafreniere able to scoop this up. Fox, oh, he had his advantage at right in front of the net. And my God, the Panthers getting a change here. They are lucky cats, to say the least. Kreider regains the zone and finds the top, or the point, I should say. Fox still out there. He shoots and into the trap of Bobrovsky. It floats the 31st shot on the night for the Rangers as we're down to 533 left. Reese's with caramel, really? Yeah. Kit Kat close second. Uh, have you ever had a green tea Kit Kat? Not my favorite by any means, but uh, that's a unique one I've had. Uh, Midnight Milky Way. Oh, those are the dark chocolate ones. Yeah, those are definitely better than the regular ones. My opinion. Uh, Jamie, actually, I will not be reviewing this game, but Jaws will review later tomorrow the Panthers game against the Flyers. At least that's what the plan seems to be right now. Fast breaks are good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm all about that fast break life. Crunchy or big Estmore, Eastmore? Mr. Uh-huh. I'm not familiar with that so much. Give your brother a shout out. It's his birthday. His name is Liam. All right, Liam. Well, happy birthday to you. Hopefully the Panthers can come through with a victory and get a little bit closer to regaining possession of first place. You have a fantastic rest of your birthday weekend from Cortana and myself and the chat. Let's shout out Liam in the chat and give Cortana a no-look no look slice of organic apple. Here you go, Cortana. Whoop. Oh, look at that right there, right in front of the camera. What a good girl. Yeah, sure. I'm happy to be here, Thomas. Happy to be here. Dominant third by New York so far. Yeah. Bobrovsky's been strong, but at least the Panthers, knock on wood, have not gotten themselves in any penalty trouble. MVP goalie, exactly. Impenetrable. The big cup Reese's with the cookie bits. Ooh, I haven't had that one. Oh, man, I'm going to have to try to find one of those. Let's go, cats. Five thirty three left in regulation. Reese's ice cream. Oh, I think I've had that at some point. I want to say I have. At least I've had like a Reese's McFlurry, so I'm all for it. Reese's Puffs are wicked good. Although, um, you got to let them soak for a while in, in milk. Otherwise, the roof of your mouth is going to be like sandpaper. 
Panthers are hosting Toronto in the first round of the playoffs. I mean, hey, I, I don't think Panthers fans would complain again, uh, complain about that. All right, Fox able to keep this in. And nice job there. I think it was, was that Kachuk settling that down? Ellen Dell trying to rip a shot blocked by Gustafsson. Kept alive from behind the net. And now Bjornfoot funnels one around the net. Sealed off by Gustafsson. Kept in by Reinhardt. Gloved down by 56. Haven't won a game since getting Akposa. Really? Or like since he uh, checked into the lineup. Blue Bell has Dr. Pepper ice cream? No. Oh, I am curious. I would probably like blend that with some just regular vanilla ice cream. Boy, that sounds really interesting. Maybe put in like crush up some cinnamon toast crunch and, and add that in there. That could be pretty damn good. Oh, it makes you throw up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Big hit behind the net there on uh, not Schneider uh, on Schneider, yeah. Lock shot there by Fox or Brodzinski, and now Kachuk from behind the net. Now Verhage, Verhage, a shot that gets immediately blocked by Ekman Larson. Verhage able to keep that alive. He's kind of fighting it out there, Carter Verhage. Verhage again. He's going <laughs> top shot. And we have ourselves a 3-2 Cats lead. Ah, there's no goal call like a Carter Verhage goal call. Ah, love it. Absolutely love it. Here we go. Cortana, goal treat. Wait, this, this is a too small piece. Cortana, goal carrot. Here we go. Ready? Whoop. Oh, look at that catch. Let's give her another one. Here we go. Ready? Whoop, whoop. Oh, wait. That's, that's a little too far. My bad. My bad. Yeah, stay on the bed. So that you can stay on camera and look cute. Here, have another one, girl. I don't know if I called that, but that was awesome. And just roofs it. That's his spot. Yeah. It was, you know, like I said, he was just battling that shift and apparently he he was he Changed his stick on, on a shift? Is that what it was? Hmm. You've seen that shot before. Yeah, it looks a little bit familiar, doesn't it? That's that's basically where he was in game seven against the Bruins, right? All right, now Rodriguez. Now the Panthers have done a good job after scoring a goal, like on that next shift. Dana dropping the, the super sticker. Thank you, thank you. Emperor King, awesome having you here. Thank you for, for joining us and enjoy the rest of your weekend. There you go, Cortana from Dana. There you go. Oh, no. And just like that, we have a tie game. Although, I'm curious to see if there was any contact. Lafreniere, and Maurice is looking at the tablet right now. Bobrovsky doesn't seem to be pissed. So this goal might stand. I'm going to add it to the scoreboard right now, but we'll, we'll take a look. Panarin actually getting credited with that one. Excuse me. Let's see what were the, there's a lot of contact in front of the net though. There, that goal is going to stand. Unbelievable, yeah. Trocheck there, Stenlin trying to tie up somebody else, and uh, Mikola just not able to to shove Trocheck out. Man, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Mucho Mango dropping the 10 spot. Hey, thanks, man. And again, we'll be sending 50% of Super Chats, or at least what we keep here, because YouTube, you know, they do keep some of themselves. Well, I'll send 50% of my of my cut to the uh, Maryland SPCA on behalf of Jaws and myself. So, Mucho, thank you. Muchas gracias. Let's uh, give Cortana another treat there. We might never... <laughs> It's like the opposite of Shorzy. All right. Here comes the Banajad. Drop pass. Over to Panarin. Wide of the pad of Bobrovsky. Roslovic, excuse me. They have a lot of righties on their team. My Sharks have like one. His name's Kevin LeBanc. And this pops out of the Rangers zone. Cool, man. I appreciate that. That's dope of you. 
Uh, we weather low. Hey, thanks for ha- for dropping in here. You come at a good time. Two forty-five left. A tie game. The Panthers. Had that 3-2 lead just ever so briefly, but the Rangers storming back with a bunch of traffic in front of the net. This team drives you crazy. What do they make you drink? Need a rhino? Yeah, that's that's a good call. That's a good call. I just don't think it's going to be coming five on five. Schneider, derp to deer. can't get it quite clear of the zone. And now Miller, nice hit there. Bennett coming in. I've liked Bennett's game. Winning some face-offs, making some strong defensive plays tonight. Settled by Verhage. Already one nothing Sharks. That's okay, we know how to blow leads. Oh, you turn 21 in July. All right, cool. Go take a trip to Europe, though. Then you can enjoy yourself even more. Or Canada, for that matter. But uh, that'll be exciting for you. If, if you choose such a thing. Now to 205 left here in regulation. Positive energy. Here, we need we need we need Cortana to here, Cortana. Oh, positive. Oh, yeah, that's a good girl. Yeah. Oh, wait, whoa. You booped that really hard. All right. Mikola able to funnel this down into the corner. Rodriguez trying to force a turnover, but Schneider will uh, settle this from behind his net. Can you, can you go lie down? Hang on, boo boo. There we go. Hey, what, you played with somebody who played for the Flyers? That's cool. Stenland and a stretch pass off the skate of Losterinen, and that's going to go for icing. Would I go to overtime where I split the goalie? Well, I wouldn't do it because it's like the two points are not so crucial for them because they'll be in the playoffs no matter what versus like the Wild are doing this to, you know, give themselves a puncher's chance of making the postseason. Need to put in Stolars. Oh, geez. Poor Bob, though. He, he had a couple guys uh, to fight off in front of the net there. On that third goal, he's made he's made some quality stops in this game. I think he's played overall fine, you know, at, at worst. Uh, now OEL from behind his net takes a hit, trying to advance the sub ice. Montour, good job, but over to center ice and into the stick of a Rangers player. Down to 25 seconds now. Montour from center ice. Slaps it in. For Hagee trying to jump in. Kept in. Shot. Goes wide, but rims around to Montour. Trying to funnel this to somebody. Behind the net. There's Bennett looking out in front. Oh, and a nice check there from Keandre Miller to, to break that up. Yep. Yep, and in the spirit of Matthias and Jaws and and and, and crew, we are going to overtime. I'm not going to try to say it like Matthias. Nobody, nobody does. So yeah, we're headed to three on three. Okay, so at least we're not going to come up empty-handed in this one. Ot, here we come.
All right, everybody. I need I need your your prediction here. I'm gonna call Sam Bennett. Sam Bennett and OT, baby. Tied with Carolina again. Oh, for like overall points. Panarin? No. Rhino, okay. Yep, two points behind Boston and two other games in hand after tonight, so that's good. Lindell, okay. That's a little off the board. I do like it, though. Tarasenko, yeah, Tarasenko would be, it would definitely be good for him to get the game winner there. Have that third goal go in. Um, it deflected off of, was it off of, correct me guys, was it off of Bob when he was uh, basically trying to see around a screen? Really two guys in front of the net for the Rangers. Where am I from? Uh, originally uh, around San Jose, California, uh, but now I live in uh, North Idaho. Very far away from the territory, very far. Fox wins it. Yeah, Adam Fox with one of the goals tonight for New York, of course. Yeah. Yeah, Peter LaViolette, though. Uh, I mean, I've been talking about candidates for Coach of the Year. Peter LaViolette shouldn't be out of the conversation by any means. He's done a fantastic job. And, and he's one of those guys who does a really good job, for the most part, with um, – a team in his first year. He did the same thing for like Flyers went to the final unprecedented run in 2010. He won in his first year with the Hurricanes. I think with the Predators, he, he they went to the final in 2017. Was that his first year there? No, nah, maybe it wasn't. But they still had like a really good postseason run or something. I don't know. All right, here we go. Do I prefer San Jose or here, where I am here in the Gem State? I, lo I love it here in Idaho. For this point in my life, this was the right move. All right, Verhege. And Bennett is going to actually send this behind the net to Verhage, behind their own net, I should say. Kuchuk. And now Verhage at the top of the circle. Pulls up, looking for Bennett for a moment. He hangs on. Cross team, Bennett, and a shot that he's not able to get on net. A Huckleberry patch and chill, exactly. Kuchuk, still alive. So the, the uh, Panthers going with three forwards, but intercepted by Trocek. Verhege has to watch his ass. He didn't know that Panarin was there to strip him. But fortunately, Panarin wasn't able to take off with it. Verhege. And Kachuk at the top of the zone. He's going to take it out of the zone. Yeah, hey, Trevor. Hey, thanks for joining in, man. You're here for overtime. Good time. Now Reinhardt. Top of the zone, Lundell. Reinhardt down to the goal. Out into the slot for Lois Arenan. But now here come the Rangers. Zibanejad. He's got Kreider there. Zibanejad. Takes the shot. Passes it off. Nabrowski the big save. Unbelievable. He robs Kreider. Now Lois Arenan. And stripped from behind by Zibanejad. Looking up ice, but uh, Zibanejad couldn't get there. And the uh, Panthers... Kind of dodging a couple of bullets here in overtime. Montour out there now. First minute 50 gone by in the overtime. Cortana waiting in anticipation. Thank you, John. Give Cortana a treat. Yeah, absolutely. Here, I got to break this up. Montour shot and goes off of somebody in front of the net and ramps up out of play. <laughs> Sharks are F1, nothing yet. Yeah. Not for long, not for long, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 257 left in the overtime.
We get a face off in the Rangers zone. For Hagee out there with who's that for center? Reinhardt taking the draw, but losing it to Gustav or uh, to the Rangers and Gustafsson. Take his sweet time. Panarin. Try to draw a pass for Trocek. Feathers it over to Panarin. A shot and a glove save by Bobrovsky. And play goes on. Reggie looking for the stretch pass. He's got Reinhardt, but a bobbling puck. It uh, scoots by him. Now the two collide, him and Gustafsson. Gustafsson's down. Reinhardt, a shot from Ekman Larson off the doorstep. And for Reggie trying to stuff it home. And no, Shesterkin's got it. That was an interesting sequence there. Is Eric Gustafsson, who had collided with Reinhardt, is uh, slow to get up. He looks to be okay. My Mike's cut. Yeah. So, so a couple people are noticing that. All right. Here, here's what I'll do, guys. Thanks for pointing that out. I'm going to. Um, I'll do one thing. Here. All right, Bennett against Barkley Goodrow. 220 left in the overtime. Bennett able to control it, send it out to Montour. Kachuk. Montour looking down low for Bennett. He'll skate it out. Keeps it in the zone, but trips. Uh, just loses an edge there. Down to two minutes. Panthers going to regroup. Bennett re-entering. He shoots and blocked by Zibanejad. Right back to Sam Bennett. All right, cool. Yeah, th thank you guys for uh, pointing that out. My right, Montour. Bringing it out to the point. Now he takes it out of the zone. I, No matter who's who's doing that, I really want to see the NHL clamp down on that. It's making overtime less than exciting. All right. Lindell at the circle. He shoots and... Sturkin might have gotten a piece of it. Held on by the Panthers, though. Here's Reinhardt bringing it out of the zone as we get down to 115 left. Lindell. Now Reinhardt gaining Rangers zone. Hurt by Miller. Yeah, why are you trying to go one on one like that against Keandre Miller? That's just not a good formula for success. Here's Panarin with speed into the Panthers zone. A shot and blocked immediately by Ekman Larson. Bobrovsky steering this aside. We're down to 50 seconds left. And now Verhege. You know that final minute is the Verhege minute. Kachuk. Circling. Finally bringing, in, bringing the puck into the zone. A toe drag and pro check. I had nothing with that. And Panarin now. Across ice. Box a shot and blocked. And into the boards collides one Panther player. Montour might have a two-on-one. He's got Verhege. Montour shoots and saved by Shesterkin. Scooped up by Panarin. 15 seconds left. Fox. And now back to Panarin with some speed. At the circle, Panarin, toe drag. And in the waiting seconds. And this one's going to a shootout. I got to go to a shootout. I don't want a shootout. Yeah, I mean, I know. I hate them, too. What I do love, though, I love penalty shots. I love penalty shots, absolutely. But, uh, yeah. This is going down to the wire. 2 nothing Sharks. 16 to shoot it to the shots on goal. Damn it. But then again, the uh, Sharks led the Blackhawks that one time to nothing, right? Just a week ago. Not even. 
Uh, goals from Thomas Bordolo and Thomas Bordolo again. Okay, okay. Well, if a shark is going to have two Genos early on, I, I would love it. Uh, I'd love uh, Thomas Bordolo to be the guy. Or Eklund, for that, that matter. All right, so now the uh, ice is getting a little bit of a sweep here. Jaws' favorite part of the game is a shootout. Oh, I bet. I imagine so. Why are the fans booing when we're passing back? Well, because you're basically just like holding onto the puck outside. Like you're not attacking, right? You're just kind of like making the other team wait around for you to take a chance and you know, take a shot. So, I, yeah, again, I, I think the NHL needs to do something about these teams carrying the puck out of the zone like that. You know, teams don't really do that in five on five, right? So yeah, Mika Zibanejad will be the first shooter for New York. 42% in his career. That's wicked good. I'll be back after the shootout, yeah. All right. Mika. Here he comes. Skating in methodically. He pulls up. He deeks. He shoots and he scores. A little backhand drag around Bobrovsky's pad. I don't know if you call that a Dutchie move, but uh, he does get on the board. Oh, the Forsberg. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So Mika gets on the board. Reinhardt will shoot first for the Panthers. All right, skating in slowly, Reinhardt coming in, he shoots, he scores! Went high glove on Shesterkin there, we're even. Take a look at that on the replay. Yeah, just a beautiful shot there. Bobrovsky's glove was pretty far down. Artemi Panarin is going to be the next shooter, though. He has one of the goals tonight of the Rangers. 57% for his career, 24 for 42. That's wicked. That's in fuego. Now Panarin on the side. He pulls in, pulls up, and he scores. I thought Bobrovsky had the angle at that moment, but he just bought, he just bought a little bit more time while Bob was down and ripped it by him. Yeah, Bob went for the poke check, and then, damn. Bob's glove was up there, and he was able to sneak that under his glove there. Anton Lindell, he's 5 for 10 in his career. And here he comes. It's in, coming in, and Shesterkin able to get a pat on that one. As Lundell couldn't quite rip the shot. Of course, Trocek with a goal here would win the shootout for the Rangers. Vincent Trocek, 17 of 50 for his career, so 34%. He'll skate in. The third right-handed shot for the Rangers. Coming down Main Street. Trocek and denied by the stick of Abrovsky covering up the five hole. And so the Panthers need a goal here. And uh, I have a feeling I know who they'll send out for this one. Oh, it's going to be Tarasenko. Okay. Sixteen of fifty for his career, thirty-two percent. And here comes Vladdy. With a little bit more speed. Comes in, he shoots, and denied by Shesterkin. And the Rangers at that second point, but the Panthers able to inch a little bit closer to the Bruins. They are now two points back 
but still have two games in hand. So I hate to see it. I thought the Panthers were going to find a way to pull through here, but the Rangers ultimately prevail in a skills competition. I'll stick around for just a few more minutes here, but I appreciate everybody who's uh, joined us tonight. And um, for all the super chats, of course, too, we'll, we'll give Cortana the rest of your snacks, though, on your behalf. This team is cooked. I mean, really, it's it, it, it was a 3-3 game. It was a 3-3 game and overtime. So if we're talking about you know being prepared for the playoffs, I'm not particularly concerned when I see the, the overall result. However, when you do surrender the goal that you did right after the third goal, that's probably the biggest deal breaker for me there. Uh, yeah, thanks, Dustin. You too, man. And again, thanks for uh, you know, for what you did for Jaws too, man. Yeah, good game, but certainly when you're up two nothing, right, and you get absolutely um, dominated in the second period, and barely have to fight off the Rangers in the third period. So yeah, maybe I'll back backpedal on what I said a moment ago. Not particularly a great game for the Panthers overall. I. I'm not panicking by any means, or at least I know I'm an outsider compared to a lot of people out here. But, yeah, the team will certainly benefit from getting a little bit healthier, too. Here, we got one more slice of apple here. We'll go with the no look. Ready, Cortana? I'm oh, sorry. that. Oh. Hey, you bobbled that one, too, like the Panthers bobbled a 2 nothing lead. Yeah, but there's still there's still good padding there between the uh, Panthers and the third place leads. And John, thanks again there, man. I appreciate that. We'll have some bucks to uh, donate to the uh, Maryland SPCA for Jaws. Greater get rid of Tarasenko and Ocposo. Well, I think both are free agents next year, so just don't sign them again. Healthy in the playoffs or your first round exit. Yeah. Uh, looks like Trocheck's getting one of the three stars of the game. That's okay. Not like we, not like we care about that. Missing the captain, two defensemen, energy guy, and our best tough guy. Yeah, you went into the Rangers building, and at times, especially in the earlier part of this game, you're the better team. But yeah, there there were a couple of critical moments where they did falter for sure. Win tomorrow against Philly. There you go. Yeah, you got you got to put up a dub, right? You got to get mad. Philly played yet played today too, and they had to fight off the Bruins and, and get two points. So don't take them lightly, but they're looking at that that third goal the Rangers scored, by the way. That's true. Tarasenko was not a very uh, uh expensive buy this time. All right. Well, guys. I got a rocket man showing up in after the shootout happened. I'm glad you weren't there for that because it was boring for the anyway. Uh, too many times we need to find the chemistry. Yeah, a little getting healthy again helps with kind of recalibrating the chemistry. But anyway, I gotta I gotta split here. I gotta get myself something to eat and give Cortana some pets. So thank you so much, everybody. Disappointing result, but hey. They got they gotta get it tomorrow, right? So thanks again, guys, and thank you for understanding here and for your super chats. I do appreciate that of show. And um, yeah, if you know, you'll see me around in the chat for uh, other streams that Jaws is live for. So have a great evening, everybody. We'll catch you later. Go cats. Please don't leave.